We'll do it quick. I know what the fuck I'm doing now, so I could do it like super quick. Okay, so we know the story of Super Mario Sunshine. I'll let the cutscenes play out and I'll tell you why. Okay, I think we got the widescreen to work, which is good. Okay, hang on a sec. The volume to an appropriate level. Let me know if the volume is good. There is a lot of issues, GPM. Um, the, the thing is, this is like a lot of custom stuff. So, I mean, I don't even really know it's just the very, very like intricate details of why this thing wasn't working. But you'll notice um, right off the bat that we got some good positive results. For example, Mario is in love. The sparkles are still going to be here, I think. But, um, yeah, while this cutscene's happening, let me explain. So this will be, I think I'm going to have on the Full Sauce channel, this is just going to be listed as part one. And there's going to be an unlisted link to the, the clusterfuck that was the previous stream of this. It's moving! No, no, boys, don't touch that stuff. So... If you are on the Full Sauce channel at some point in the future and you want to watch just a mess of me getting the first eight, eight shines again um, with a, a ton of technical problems and some other stories that you might enjoy, just check the description of the video. Princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mario, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. <laughs> oh yeah, subtitles aren't on. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, so you'll notice, um, okay, so first thing we, we've come to is we're in 60 frames a second, we're currently in widescreen, and we have goop, everyone. This goop was not here when I did this last time. So, so this is very exciting. We have goop. Um, you'll notice the goop looks a little bit shitty. Now. Check this out. Okay, here's the problem with the goop. Um, we could place a vote, but I think I know what, what the answer is going to be. Um, what the result's going to be. Now, check this out. Okay. You'll notice the goop looks not so great. So, I could do that, and you'll notice the goop now looks very, very good. There's curvature. It's, it's good goop. But, but... The distance, the, um, the heat waves are worse. Now, when I do this, the goop looks like poop, but the heat waves look great. So, blurry heat waves, an amazing goop, or kind of shitty goop, and great heat waves. So, yeah, we gotta have to, we're gonna have to make a choice here. Um, for my money, I'm gonna go for the heat waves, because you see, I mean, you're looking into the distance way more often. And the goop is, you know, important and everything, but still functional. Good goop. Give me that smooth goop. Oh my god, really? Um, mods, can someone make a straw poll about this? So, so I guess I was totally, completely off base. I don't have my finger on the pulse of the Vine Sauce audience at all. People want good goop and and uh, they want shitty heat waves but yeah straw poll that shit um if any mods want to just go ahead and throw that in a straw poll thank you for purchasing this item from gab science incorporated preparing to register customer information scanning and classifying subject data subject identified as mario resident of the mushroom once we solve this issue I am Flood, a flash liquidizer ultra dousing device. I hope to be of assistance. Thanks, Flood. Once we solve this issue, then I'm just gonna like gun it for those eight shines and then we Proceeding can make some progress. User instruction. Use the R button to shoot water from my tank. Um. If you press the R button all the way down, you can stop and shoot. And then use the control speed. All right, well, this is just tutorial stuff, so. 
Okay, well, let's just do this. But yeah, so um, let me uh, explain again for anyone who has not been here the last Sunshine stream. Sorry, this has to be done over, but this is going to be a speed run. The first eight shines are going to be super speedy. They look perfectly fine on stream. All right, then that's, that's fine. As long as it looks good on stream, I can I can handle it. Um, yeah, so again, you can check out that, that secret stream in the description of me futzing about with technical problems and crashes. Um, I've been told that there's a 95% chance that the crashes will, will have stopped and the music glitches will have stopped, but there's always a chance that, um, there's always a fucking chance that a crash could happen. In which case, I would just turn off one of the, the, the options. So I have a 60 frame rate thing, and I also have um, enhanced textures. You'll notice the textures are very nice. Um, but also kept true to the spirit of the original game. And I have widescreen. Looks very nice. I agree, this game looks great. Even, it looked great originally, but now it looks extra, extra great. And, um, thank you, Melon, for helping me get this fixed. Court is now in session. As you are no doubt aware, someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Isle Delfino using some paint-like substance. The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home, and yes, endangering our very way of life. Oh. Indeed, how can one not be aware of what is going on? So it is daytime in I don't think I can actually do anti-aliasing. Subtitles I'll put on next time, definitely. Expert shine scholars have determined that this darkness has arisen because all of our guardians, the shine sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the shine gate. The reason? It's Take off the cuffs. Obvious. This horrible graffiti is to blame. Behold the sketch of the perpetrator based on eyewitness description. Good sketch. The truth is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario. I can do anti-aliasing if I'm using DX12. Let's find out. I hereby order the defendant to clean this entire island. Until Isle Delfino is completely free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave. I mean, I'll give it a shot. If it crashes or if it fucks up any goop or anything, then I'm just going to turn it off. This appears to be quite a that noise. Mario I, gotta, I gotta replace that with the duck noise. This verifies that the island's inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution, but the pollution itself is not the main problem. Mario, you witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? It is a shine sprite. Shine sprites are the source of Finally, power Mario pays for his crimes. They used to gather in great numbers at the Shine Gate. The amount of turtles this motherfucker's killed. ...has polluted the island and most of the Shine sprites have fled. There is no longer any power to support the peaceful lifestyle of the islanders. It is most... Today's just gonna be sunshine. The only Hoping way we can get a, a decent, decently long one in. Sprites ...is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. The perpetrator is Voice likely acting -er. even as we speak. And you, Mario, are being treated as a criminal. <laughs> Tomorrow we must do... Again, as I've said resolve this situation. in previous Mario games and Mario games since, this story would be relayed through a few simple gestures. And just like Mario walking around, you can't miss the mess now. like a silent film. Um, the reason I'm not speeding up this part. We'll be you, pal. We'll know if you start off. Is because I'm gonna label this as one on the Full Sauce channel, just for anyone who hasn't seen this. Because again, the previous stream, um, for anyone just joining, the reason I have to do this shit over again is because I had a memory card issue. I could not load the previous save at all. So, but yeah. So you'll, you'll notice the goop is here. You got your amazing goop. Okay, now we have our first problem, which happened last time too. Let me just see what happens with the aliasing off. Hmm. 
Same thing. Alright, I'm just gonna put it back on now. This hopefully won't be as much of a troubleshooting stream. I think this is mostly handled. But, yeah, every now and then expect something. There's always gonna be something shitty that could happen. Um, whether it be noises, um, you know, this is still- the dolphin thing is- is come a long way, but it's still not perfect. Did I try actually loading it? Yes, it said it wasn't formatted for this region, even though I loaded the USA one. Trust me, dude. I tried a lot of things. That's a lots of goop, Mario! What, what version is this? This is the Ishiruka special version. Special Pepoles. 15 Pepoles. Let me, go, let me show you guys a speedrun trick for this. I'm making that up. I don't actually know any speedrun tricks, but let me show you anyway. Come on, get it. Get it. Again, I've, you know, done pretty much all of this already. Peach's voice is very shrill and crackling pretty hard right now. Which is just, you know, that's the result of being tainted by this water demon. Yep, stars are still on the screen. That will never be fixed. From what I understand, this just fixes the widescreen stuff and the crashes. And has created a whole new batch of problems with audio crackles. There we go. Get fucked. No, get fucked. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. Um, let's see, what's going on with frame counters? There's, um, we're using... I think the problem is says we're using 98% GPU, so things are slowing down. Let me try to change this. No music. Oh, good, thank God! I was about to say, come on! Throw me a fucking bone here. And off anti-aliasing goes. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming that this is gonna end up being the last time I have to do all this stuff again. You know what I mean? Like, I'm assuming at some point I'm gonna have enough memory card saves where it's just gonna be like, oh, there's a new version to fix some of the other problems. Also, anti-aliasing was a bit of a problem. Alright. So now that we have some gameplay, things are going kind of... kind of okay. Um, let me explain... my history one more time with Super Mario Sunshine. I'm gonna do it quick. I played this when it first came out, and I loved it. And I 100 percent it, and I loved every minute of it. And then I never played it again. And then I ended up lending a copy of it to this dude Lance, and, and then he stole it. He never gave it back to me. So, that was, uh... Oh, a huge regret. I could have very easily bought another one, but I guess I just never did. Yeah, fuck you, Lance. Well, what happened was he just stopped- I lent him the game and then he never came back. He, he was a bad friend. He went and did lots of drugs, and that was when a number of us stopped hanging out with him, and he just kind of disappeared, and like, just dropped off the face of the earth. So, yeah, he ended up keeping the game, 
and uh, that was the end of it. My speedrun strategies aren't very speedy, are they? These eight shines are not as easy to get as I thought they would be. It's a shame my memory card wouldn't load. How old was I? I was, um... 19 when I was friends with Lance. Oh shit! I'm almost dead on the first boss! Lance of the Elite Four? I don't get that reference, but... but is that a Pokemon thing? No, 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 no. I, I don't think his name was actually Lance. I think he just really wanted to be cool. It's just me or is the health glitched? It says I have one left, but I also have another two ahead of that. Do you know the picture where the dog is in the burning house? And he's just, you know, things are burning around him. It's like a little comic, and he's like, this is fine. That's pretty much me right now. No, this, this is fine. The bar says life, but the sound says death. But yeah, the good news is we've got music. It's not the one-note orchestra. And of course, if I figure out any any further enhancements to the performance and less crackles, I'll definitely get in on that. I think there's there's a crack team of experts working on this to make sure this works. And get this to its peak performance. Top men. Mario's just spinning all over the place. Things are happening. Mario's like, nah, I'm, I'm gonna go to spin. You <laughs> just loud. I keep hearing fucking Tommy Wiseau all the time. All the time. It's like, I've, I've determined that the moments of my life right now are just killing time in between the next time I'm in my car to listen to the Disaster Artist audiobook. Let's stick with Bianco Hills for a little bit, because we didn't do some of those. Why you fuck? Disgust. And then, you know, the, the other thing is now I'm looking up interviews with Tommy Wiseau, like, on my free time. When I'm home, I'm just like, I need to learn more. Tell me more about yourself, Tommy. Mike thought he was a character, like that he was just pretending to be that. But I, I think I know better now. I'm convinced that he's a real person and that he's not just method acting his whole life. I met him at Kamikaze. I confirm he's actually like that. Yeah, I believe he's like that. I, I really do believe that he is just exactly as as he is in the movie but um yeah i just can't get it out of my head like i i again i hear his voice in my sleep now and it's not even his voice it's just the fucking impression that greg sestero is doing oh, oh no the first time i did that i didn't die like that that's two that's too dude. Okay. <laughs> what? How was I able to do this so so easily last time? There we go. Oh, don't fucking don't you give me that do. Don't give me the do. I can't believe my deaths right now. I just game over. Oh no, <laughs> it was disgusting. Why you fart?
Oh, shed a tear for me, chat, please. I also... I got cocky. I thought, oh, I did this last time, no problem. Nah, man. Nah. No, I'm good. Okay. So, just for the sake of variety for people that watched me do this last time, I'm gonna stick in Bianco. I'm gonna try to do as much Bianco as I can. We did a few of these. We did the red coins, but this is, this is gonna be quick. So, um, chat. Let me ask you a question now. What's your top three favorite Mario games? So, in the chat, put one, two, and then three. And list your favorites. I'm just curious. And also, I'm, I'm also curious to see how much sunshine actually shows up. I saw one legit answer. I saw a few legit answers, but the one I saw was... Number one was Galaxy. The next one was Sunshine. Uh, Super Mario World. I see Mario World... A lot of sunshine in number one. Maybe it's just because I'm playing sunshine right now, but... It seems like a lot of people put this in their top spot. Which, and again, I said this the last time I streamed this, which again... Full saucers, you know where to find it. Gusty vagina. Um... This was not the most popular entry in the series. This is, I think, when this came out, like, purists was kind of scoffed at it, I think. I, I just remember some of the reaction being slightly negative. Yeah, Gusty, Gust, Gust, Gust. My favorite enemy. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Every time. So I'm gonna try to just wrote Square windmills to spin, Mark. I can't deal with this. This is my life now. My life is now Tommy Wiseau's voice. You know what game I wish to play? Paper Mark. It's a good game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You, you, you're just gonna make this worse for me, aren't you? Please share my pain. Please share my pain. Just, please. Has anyone, um, actually decided to... ...download or listen to the audiobook of The Disaster Artist since I suggested it? And again, I'm out of water. I, I'm the worst speedrunner on the planet. You were going to, but you forgot? Oh man. Well now here's your reminder. Go go get that shit. I've inspired some people to watch The Room for the first time. And um... Father Time in chat just said, I couldn't believe how bad it was. That was the world's reaction, dude. And the only one who doesn't feel that way is Tommy himself. In interviews, he's like, well, you know... People get... Uh, you can laugh, you can cry... But people get rude. I think movie is good. Original idea. It's not bad movie. It's good movie. I'd like to apologize to anyone who's watching this stream who is, is absolutely sick of hearing about Tommy Wiseau <laughs> at the moment. I've kind of been, like, on an overload of this guy lately. Who is Tommy Wiseau? Alright, fine. I'm gonna formally recommend something now. I haven't actually recommended... Tommy Wiseau is... a dude who looks like a vampire. Who's much older than he says he is. Who has a thick accent that no one knows where he's from. 
No one knows how old he is, really. And no one knows how he got enough money to fu uh, to fund his own movie. But he made a movie called The Room. And it's generally regarded as the worst movie, the best worst movie of all time. Okay, so there is a bit of a problem here, and it's that I don't have a lot of water for this fight. I'm not gonna need a lot of water for this fight. I think. So again, I don't remember very, very much of this game, so I almost kind of feel like I'm playing it for the first time. So, please, um, please be patient with me. I'm using tilt controls. Go easy on me. Yeah, he does have a web series in which he plays video games. It's called The Tommy Why Show. And it is... God-awful. I mean, you want to see... Like, I feel better about myself when I watch Tommy Wiseau play video games. It, it is... It is astounding. <laughs> you know, alien! You monster! You crazy alien! Haha! <laughs> and he just runs into walls. He presses... When he plays Mortal Kombat, he just presses the same button over and over and over again. Yeah, PD, get fucked. <laughs> I didn't realize you could actually hit him with water while he was up in the sky. Seems like you have some options on how to approach this fight. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about whether or not I'm going to Comic-Con. New York Comic-Con this year. I am. If you want to meet up, you just stop me in the hallways or whatever. I don't mind. I like meeting people. And, um... It gets a little crazy, though. It does get really... New York Comic-Con's a fucking mess. But, yeah, I would, I would love to meet you guys. Why don't you, um... Check my Twitter. I'm going, I think, Thursday and Saturday. So, um, my Twitter is at Vinny Vinesauce. I'll, I'll make tweets. Usually, I tweet, like, a meetup spot, whether it be outside or somewhere in the lobby or whatever. And, um, we'll usually have, like, a spot where we all hang out for, like, an hour. Is Red Vox playing? No, no. No. It's nice of you to say that, though. Secrets of the Dirty Lake. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we're gonna meet up in the restroom, exactly. I wonder if that's where the secret is. This lake gets so goddamn filthy. Great, get power nozzle, get, get it taken away from me. Okay, place your bets. How many deaths do we have here? Oh man. Oh man. Give me a spin button. 
please. I need I need a spin. I need to spin to win. Like you have a, a severely limited palette of moves. You don't have long jump. You don't have your fall delay. You don't have the spin. It's it's like kind of uh It's rough, man. It's rough. I love it though. I don't mind the challenge, but holy shit. You scum motherfucker, eat a dick. <laughs> oh. Okay. 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 It's so fun to play the game until you start losing and then you just then you realize like, "Oh, wait a minute. I signed up for this." This is a full stream of, of just crippling defeat. Okay. Okay. I can deal with this. I can deal with this. I'll take that. Thank you. Kanye West! Okay. Alright. What kind of spin pattern do we have here? Some spins to wins. Alright. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh no, <laughs> the music glitch is back. Here we go. I want my own slimy, oily piranha plant guarding my ho my domain. So how about that Corey Feldman? You know that- that viral performance that Corey Feldman had? When his band Red Vi I mean, Angels with Broken Wings or whatever? Corey Feldman did a, uh, a song from his newest album that kind of went viral. Because he, his performance was very strange. And, uh, it was- the song was very weird? I mean... I guess... Oh. Not necessarily by today's standards, mind you, but, um... So it went viral. People got shitty about it, and said he sucked cock and all that stuff, and of course... Corey Feldman had no idea how to handle this, and... Now he's like freaking out, he says he can't get out of bed. And his his band, his angel band, is really, really upset. And they don't know how to deal with this. I feel really bad, actually. I do. I mean, he put his heart out there and then he let the internet trolls get to him. This is his fifth album, by the way, but just now people are noticing it. And uh, the internet has gotten a hold of it. And, uh, he, he said that he's- he's really depressed. He had no idea what kind of reaction he would get. Uh, but, you know, you put yourself out there, you- you open yourself up to that kind of shit. What did he even do? He just did, uh, it- it kind of almost sounded like a little bit of- it was rap and... It was dubstep, but with, like, angel girls playing instruments, and also, um... He was also doing, um... Like, Michael Jackson dance moves, but, like, it, like, almost ballet. 
It was just a really, really weird like, combination of a lot, like a lot of different styles, and his his singing voice was just kind of like raspy and and kind of haggard. But yeah, but he's um yeah. I, I mean, it's it's if you watch it, it's hard not to laugh. But then finding out what happened to the guy, how he's like miserable that the internet, like he he didn't even know. He was like, people are saying mean things to me all the time. It's like, yeah, that's the internet, dude. <laughs> that's kind of what it. That's kind of what happens. Nut up or shut up kind of deal, you know. But he he didn't know. He's from the '80s. He, I mean, he spent most of his years like addicted to drugs. I could have sworn that these signs and woodens weren't glitching like this last time I streamed this. Yeah, that that seems suspect. That's that's a new thing. Whoa, Mario. Now I don't know how the fuck to feel. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. Always green. Yeah, he- well, that's true. The same dude just said he's messed up understandably. I mean, the dude, for anyone who doesn't know, he was a child star in the 80s, and he kind of- his career tanked, and he got addicted to drugs, and, you know, he was a mess. And, uh, I think he got over the- always green. Always green is now a meme, I'm sorry. See, I did this the first time, last time. Shortcuts. I don't know if I have it this time. Did I do it? Mustache Pianta? Pretty weak? Aw, oh, you fucker. Told me to come back after I've conquered the kiddie pool. We're gonna do it this time, I swear. Watch. I swear. Sub 40. I wonder what the record is for that. It's weird, because some of these textures are fucking on point. And really, really nicely done. And some of them... are just, like... 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 big, dirty... ass... Oh man, do I want to tell you guys the story about the supermarket lady? Okay. If you're offended by bodily functions, <laughs> which which I guess means you have to just plug up your asshole so you don't have to deal with it. But this story is genuinely gross. Um, I don't think I want to go into full detail because it is it is a pretty fucking disgusting story. But let's just say, notice the smell when I was changing um, coins at a, at a coin star machine. I look. And there's a lady. And there's poop. There is poop involved. That's it. That's that's the amount of detail that I'm, I'm gonna give you, and nothing more. On the clothes. Poop, poop on the clothes. On the clothes, poop. This was just today. And it was not fun. Yeah, that'll be on the Blood Bagel 2 album, Volcano. 
Blood Bagel 2, in parentheses, Volcano. I'll, I'll sing songs about that. I, I don't think Blood Bagel 2 is going to happen anytime soon, but if, if we ever feel the, the distinct need to be complete morons again, and, uh, and write songs that are disgusting and stupid, that will definitely be one of them. Poop Lady in the Supermarket. <laughs> Shark in the Mart. Oh my god, that's a great name. Thank you. I nerd cereal. That is a wonderful name. <laughs> Shark in the Mart. <laughs> Sometimes I love this chat. Is tonight just uh, sunshine? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. I started late. Uh, we. I got home a little late. Mike and I and, um, the other guys from the band, I, I took them out to dinner. It was good. My favorite music glitch. So, and then I had to troubleshoot this and I wasn't really able to fully solve it. So, that sucked. I feel like that was bullshit. I can only feel it, though. I played a little bit more of that Forgotten Hope mod today. There's apparently a few active servers. And, uh, it is, in fact, a very fun mod once you get into it. Just the realism is, is kind of brutal at times. Since it is, like, get shot, dead. Get shot, dead. Where did I- where- where did I get shot from? Oh, it doesn't matter, because I'm gonna die now. Yeah! Get shot dead. Who, who shot me? Oh, that was- you're telling me I got shot from, like, all the way on the other side of the map by a stray bullet? But then, when you have some teamwork, and you're actually, like, war there's a Bastogne map, which is the- the, you know, the episode from, uh, Band of Brothers that I was raving about. And, uh, I played on it, and it's- it's pretty goddamn amazing. So, I think that mod is, is really great. It's just, you gotta be in a certain mood for it. Zack? Yeah, I can't, uh, yeah. The character, the dude that plays Zack is a character and I can't unhear Zack's voice every time I watch that, that show. I watch shows very slowly. Someone was like, dude, I finished Band of Brothers and the Pacific in the time it got you, and the time it took you to get halfway through. I usually watch one episode a night. Sometimes I skip and watch something else. For example, I was talking about that uh, documentary, I Dream of Wires, which is a documentary about um, synthesizers. It's on Netflix. It's a really, really, really good documentary. I enjoyed it a lot. Not for everyone, but for people that are interested in that sort of thing. It's pretty great! The nails are bullshit, confirmed. Whoa, I just went through that. It's like, here's your reward. You will die lots. Enjoy this small consolation. I miscalculated the jump! Some of the problem is, is the, you know, the, the camera is, is actually kind of making this a little more difficult for me. Just slightly. It's just, it's kind of hard to judge what, what the fuck is going on sometimes. Now I'm... Bop! I'm not gonna blame the camera. I know the C6 stick can adjust it. I'm just saying, sometimes it's hard to get a judge on, you know, where you're jumping, what you're looking at. It's like, the, the perspectives are a little, little hard. I'm not- <laughs> Okay, it's my own goddamn fault. Is that what you want to hear? That's why I think the Mario 3D Land game 
was a kind of amazing... It was an amazing example of the 3DS being used... I think to its, like, full potential. Because the 3D wasn't a gimmick in the 3D Land game. You, you actually kind of used it to judge your jumps a little bit and figure out where the fuck you were, and it was, it was great. I mean, 3D World was a great game, and um, it, it did everything 3D Land did but better in a lot of ways, but 3D Land still had the advantage of the 3D. What is happening? Ah, oh, come on. What is this shit? <laughs> How the fuck did I even do this? His jetpack isn't even on straight. I can't even pause the game. I can't even pause the game. Did I just discover a new glitch? Pause and exit stage. Can't do it. Someone in chat just said Sith Squid. I have to wait until the squid kills me, I guess. Every fucking time. Yeah, no buttons work. Except the map button, that's it. I'm like King Midas with glitches, yeah, I suppose I am. Jesus fucking Christ. Darth Squidius. Oh, really? It was so obvious. I don't even know what the hell is happening to Mario right now, but I love it. Look at it, it's so weird. What's going on? The legs don't make any sense! <laughs> so, as I was saying, the collectathon genre kind of lost me. Donkey Kong 64 was a big death knell. Um, I loved this game. This game, I think, was probably the last great collectathon, in my opinion, that I played. There's a lot I didn't play, but this one. We didn't need music. And the crazy thing is, I loved Donkey Kong 64, and I still have a lot of fondness for it. Like, my memories of Donkey Kong 64 are so nostalgic, but yet, every time I try to replay it these days, I just get bored. Could you believe that? What I just did there? I tried to do the long jump. And, and the exact opposite of a long jump happened. And and again, like, you know, I see people saying like, why don't I love Donkey Kong 64? I, I do, I loved it. I actually wrote up a guide for the minigames when it, when it first came out. Like, I, I really... I really liked Donkey Kong 64. I just feel like it, it hasn't aged well. And it has its pr it has problems. The game has problems. No amount of nostalgia can fix its problems. Having to switch between five different characters and then going through the same areas over and over again. That's not that's it's it's that's rough. It's just rough, man. Come on. Oh yeah, no, well, any, any game has its problems. I mean, I'm not blind to the idea that a lot of... I mean, even Sunshine, as much as we love this, it's not perfect. But, um, it's goddamn close. <laughs> Some of the, the, the objectives are a little insane. 
I remember there being a number of, of shines that were very difficult and a lot of platforming that was very hard to. But yeah, I mean, it's it's still, you see past it. How, how much are you willing to see past the flaws of a game? Um, and really enjoy it. And for me, I'm willing to see past the flaws of a lot of games. Donkey Kong 64, I remember getting about halfway through and I just couldn't do it anymore. Banjo-Kazooie is another game I'm, I'm kind of afraid to revisit. I think... I've said I wanted to stream Banjo-Kazooie or Tui a number of times, and I would probably enjoy them as much as... Well, maybe not as much as I did when I first played them, because I loved Banjo-Kazooie. That was another one of... Like, I, I fucking found everything. I played the shit out of Banjo-Kazooie. I loved that game. And Tui I never finished, but it was still really good. I'm a little afraid to revisit it. I played Conquer, so why not Banjo 1? Conquer is another example of... Conquer is linear as fuck. It may not seem like it, but Conquer is not like collect the 60 or 100 jiggies to progress. Conquer is just like, here's a series of funny moments and action set pieces. Have fun. Banjo-Kazooie is like, collect all these things. But there is definitely... I mean... I've told you guys many times that, um... I have a lot of games on the horizon, and... I think Banjo-Kazooie... is gonna have to be one of them at some point. I mean... I miss the music, I miss the levels. If I can do Mario Sunshine, then I can do Banjo-Kazooie. When will it happen? It might not happen in the next year, but it'll probably happen... It'll probably happen at some point, and uh... Yeah, so... Again, my hesitance to revisit it doesn't mean I never will. How about the Zelda games? I've played a lot of the Zelda games, dude. You know that. Minish Cap is gonna be soon. Soon, TM. But yeah, aside from the minor character, uh, camera stuff... ...here and there with this game and Mario 64. Um... You know, the 3D camera... You get to control it yourself. That's good thing. That's good thing, you know? And the reason I think that's good is because... You can place wherever you need to go, however you want to look. Mario 64 was very limited in terms of camera. And there were times when the camera just did what it wanted to. And it was like, oh, I'm sorry, you want to... You want to have a very specific thing you need to do with the camera? Nope. So, that was challenging. This fixes that. I love it. But it's still, you know, there's going to be times when you're not going to get the angle you want. I think it's just kind of the nature of this type of game. So Galaxy, I think, kind of took steps in the direction of, of fixing that by kind of making the camera fit what was happening the best it could. Burbs, look, burbs. Wet burbs now. And then Mario 3D World and 3D Land, it was just like, oh, what's that? Camera control? Nah. Now, here's an isometric view, so you're gonna see exactly what we want you to see at the exact moment what we want you to see it. Wait a minute, no shit. My tooltip is to shoot them with water? You're telling me I can- I can do that?
But how the fuck do you get them off the thing? Reads unhelpful tip, doesn't read helpful tip. Whoops. Oh. I guess I should have read the tool tip. Oh god, I just went through the mirror. Okay. Oh, there you go. I see. There's one. There we go. Yeah, you gotta be like super precisely on the other side of the thing. I got it now. Just remember, too, the first time, I'd like to invite all of you. I can handle it, you know, I'm, I'm, I am actually... And not, I'm not Bab Snake, I'm Old Snake. Like, I can handle it. You guys say mean things to me, I'm not gonna Corey Feldman my way into bed. I like sleep, though, and I take a lot of naps. Seven a day. I don't think it's because I'm upset that you guys call me mean names in the chat, though. <laughs> Okay, I don't take seven naps a day. Maybe maybe more like one, if that. But anyway, the point is, the point I'm trying to make is I want you to remember the first time you played this game. So if I don't do the things precisely 100% perfect the first time, think back to when you were a young bab. I think back to when you when you played the game perfectly with no errors. Do you remember when Captain Picard said it is still po it's possible to commit no errors but still lose? Shit, that was inspirational. Captain Picard's one of the few people that makes me feel like awesome about being bad at video games. And here's the last one. This is a small mirror. Easy. GG, easy. That sounds quite anti-inspirational. <laughs> well... Okay, I need some TNG fans to get on this right now. So... A, what episode was it that Picard said that? B, what was the context? Because I don't fucking remember. But I think the quote was, it is possible to commit no errors and still... and still lose. Um... It was it, in the episode, it's super fucking inspirational. It just sounds like assholes when I say it. Has Star Trek aged well? Depends on which one. I think TNG has aged well, the next generation. Also, they just uh, transferred it to Blu-ray, so they, they made it look real nice. So yeah, I would say that... Um, and it's on Netflix too, so it's really easy to watch. Seasons 1 and 2 haven't really aged so well. Like, there's some great episodes in season 1 and 2, but they're kind of few and far between. Seasons 3 to most of 7 is incredible. So yeah, I would say it's it, most of it's aged pretty well. Um, it looks good. The performances are still pretty good. I mean, there was a therapy craze in the 80s. Like, that was like the thing. So like, every, every show needed some kind of therapy angle. Um, late 80s, and so there was a counselor on board, which has not necessarily been repeated since. Oh, I love the original series, too, for a lot of different reasons, though. Oh, shit. Why was no one guarding Peach? God damn it. Oh, thanks, Nine Red. That is Pina Island. The villain secret hideout must be there. I love this level so much. That means, oh, go fuck yourself, you piece of shit Italian. 
in flower. Also, I keep expecting to see tits on these fucking flowers because of Conker's bad fur day. Okay, now, allow me to point out, not that I need to tell you this, but how fucking beautiful does this look? When this shit actually fucking works, combined with this game's original kind of aesthetic and how good it is, the beach and the water and all that stuff, this, this is some of the best looking shit that you can have on the dolphin. It's really nice. Okay, here we go again. Why you do? Why, what you fart? Someone sent me the time code for the, uh, <laughs> the fart story. I have to tell you, I have to show you later. Maybe it's not as funny as I thought. Maybe it's just funnier in my own head than it actually is. to find it though so I'll show you when I'm done with uh, with, with sunshine for the for the night <laughs> metal gear <laughs> people in chat are calling it Soholanthropus you guys are great whoever hired you needs a raise but you play the fearless hero and he's like a bad version of you but you both look the same and stuff well as director of this park I want to ensure your success so how about I provide you with a hero's vehicle? Follow me. Oblivious. <laughs> Don't pause me. What's my favorite data episode? Measure of a man. Oh my god, here we go. Time to get dizzy, everyone. Also, that water is semi-glitched, isn't it? Two cycle this shit. I feel like we just made a fucked up death coaster in Planet Coaster. Unless X1 counts as me using anastropic filtering. Leave my mama alone, you bad man. I oh boy. You take mama Peach away. The, the best voice acting in the game. Mama Peach. <laughs> mama Give me one of those fucking things. You 
This is real. Make no mistake, Bowser is the, is right. This is real. You know what? I'm kind of craving the Paiso fart story, so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna get you that like right now. Whoever had the time code for that, I don't know if it was YouTube or um, on Twitter or if it was on email. Here's something just for a brief moment of enjoyment: the the Tommy Wiseau fart story off camera, hoping that my becoming his living eyeline would help him. It didn't. Everything became infectiously not funny, funny. People were turning away from the set, their faces constipated with laughter they dared not release. Tommy didn't notice any of this. He was locked into a scene in a moment he couldn't bring to life. It was as horrifyingly transfixing as watching a baby crawl across the 405 freeway. <laughs> we were all waiting for a miracle. It took Tommy 30 minutes to feel comfortable enough to walk down the outhouse's two steps without staring at his feet. It took another 30 minutes for him to take those two steps while also remembering his lines. This is the scene, With time the oh hi mark scene. He got the walking, talking aspect of the performance down. But doing all this while hitting his mark and looking at me remained a grand fantasy. Sandy kept saying, now you need to look up when you say hi to Mark. Tommy would nod, yes, indeed, exactly what he needed to do. He would try and try again. Tommy, Johnny. I'm not I hearing did a not. fart story. Sandy, look up. Tommy, Johnny. Oh, hi, Mark. Sandy, up, up. Sandy stopped everything and took Tommy aside. He tried to reason with him, as though Tommy's understanding and not Tommy's ability were the real problem. You have to look at Mark when you say the line, okay? Because right now you're looking down. Okay, Tommy said. He'd rehearsed this moment for <laughs> half the day and this was the result. Soon the cameraman was laughing so hard that his camera started to shake during takes. Jesus Christ. Sandy decided to watch some VHS playbacks to see if there was anything, anything at all usable. Put it Hang on, I'm, I'm off, just gonna skip for a second, cause- Head off camera. Head off camera. Oof. To establish that Johnny is incapable of abuse, Tommy concocted a new opening for this scene, in which Johnny steps onto the rooftop saying, It's not true, I did not hit her, it's bullshit, I did not. After which comes this. Best impression. Oh, hi, Mark. There are 17 words in this sequence. 11 of them are non-recurring. Only one carries the burden of a second syllable. In other words, these are not terribly difficult lines to learn. Sandy had blocked the scene so that Tommy would emerge from the outhouse, hit his mark on the second I did not, look up, nail his eye line, say, oh, hi, Mark, and walk off camera to where we... The audience imagined Mark to be sitting. Most school plays contain scenes that pose bigger technical acting challenges. <laughs> Tommy couldn't remember his lines. He couldn't hit his mark. He couldn't say mark. He couldn't walk. He couldn't find his eye line. He would emerge from the outhouse mumbling, lost, and disoriented. He looked directly into the camera. He swore. He exploded at a crew member for farting. There it is. Please don't do this ridiculous stuff. It's disgusting like hell. <laughs> Sandy stood there so open-mouthed that it looked as if he were waiting for someone to lob something nutritive at him. <laughs> Finally, Tommy commanded me. Oh my god, there it is. It was worth it. It was as good as I remembered it being. Like, all the while, Tommy is just not getting his lines. 
not able to remember his lines, not able to succeed, and yet then he's exploding at people for farting. Remember for farting. Please don't do this ridiculous stuff. It's disgusting like hell. <laughs> Please do not do this disgusting stuff. It's ridiculous like hell. I'm oh, sorry. Re opposite that. You know what I mean? Why you do? <laughs> Why you do? That was. I, I thought that's what he was saying. He was clearly, <laughs> clearly not. Ugh. That really. Uh, it's not a video. I. That's. Uh, that's the audio book. It's. It's not a video. I don't know where to find that video. Please do not do this ridiculous stuff. Like, f like a bodily function that people do from time to time is ridiculous. Like, it's just unheard of that someone could ever fart. Should I read the book or l listen to the audiobook? Oh, come on! Sorry, I'm all right. There's a movie being made of it with, um... I think most of you know this, but James fucking Franco. The Disaster Artist, that's what it's called. For People keep asking, even though I say the name of it. How you, why you do this ridiculous stuff? Why you do? But yeah, there's a movie being made. And uh, it's going to just follow the plot of real life. Oh, look at all this Purdue. Is this just me or the pattern's changing? All right. Okay. I have one life. All right. I can't be fucking around doing this ridiculous stuff. Right? I have to actually fucking focus on this. Focus. Focus. First. That would have helped. Anything at all usable. I was still sitting off camera, feeling as though I'd been dozed with something potent. Tommy came over to me, looking worried. How am I doing? He asked. Give me the feedback. Something. It was a genuine request. I felt sorry for him at that moment. I knew how hard he was trying. I also knew that being a dramatic actor was the most important thing to Tommy. Everything he'd done in life was to get to this point. How could I help him? I had no idea. You're doing great, I said. But the obvious peril Tommy was in, that the whole production was now in, had broken through his vanity. For once, Tommy wanted something more than chummy assurance. How, Tommy asked again, more insistently, am I doing? Don't pull my legs. <laughs> I looked around thinking props, because props always helped Tommy. They took his mind off trying to act. I saw a nearby water bottle and grabbed it. Here, I said, handing the bottle to Tommy. Use this. You know what you're supposed to do, right? So do it. What do you always tell me? Show some emotion. Tommy smiled in pure holy relief. Why didn't you tell me emotion? My god, that's easy part. Now you see why I need you here? These other people don't care. He immediately started peeling off the water bottle sticker because nothing scared Tommy more than having to pay someone for permission to use the logo. 
Tommy is probably the world's single most copyright obsessed human being who does not also have a law degree. Sandy joined us on the side of the rooftop set. I like that. Good job, Tommy. He looked for a long time at Tommy's water bottle before speaking. What's this? Water bottle, Tommy said. <laughs> Sandy took in a lungful of deep, calming breath. Yes, he said. I know. What are we doing with it? I need to throw something, dammit, during scene. Sandy turned away, removed his glasses, sat down, and rubbed his eyes. Tommy headed back to the outhouse, his water bottle in hand, and his God script hidden it. in his breast pocket. I sat down. Here Sandy stood by the monitor. Action! The door flew open, and there was Tommy holding his water bottle, and stepping out of the outhouse, and hitting his head on the door jam so hard that it took 20 minutes to ice the bump and conceal it with makeup. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's enough of this. As much as I'm having fun listening to it, it's, uh... <laughs> he, he almost concussed himself. I remember that story. Yeah, he was... Uh, later on, <laughs> he, um... He keeps talking about how... He fucked up the scene so bad... That he walked out onto the... Onto the set, hit his head, and and he got a con he nearly got a concussion. So yeah, but he did eventually get it, which was uh, I did not hit her. I did not. It's not true. It's bullshit. Oh hi Mark, that was that scene. So let me tell you about how to get onto pirate ships. All right, first let me show you how not to get onto pirate ships. Then I'll tell you how to get onto pirate ships. You've just witnessed how not to get onto the pirate ships, right? So, I'm gonna now take you on a journey, a magical journey, on a magical lesson, even. On how to get onto them now. Yeah, so they, they do slow down. There you go. Okay, so yeah, just a little patience is how you get onto the pirate ship. That was the lesson for today, kids. I hate to admit this, but I've driven around my block like before arriving home on a few occasions since I've been listening to this audiobook. Just because I didn't want the stories to end. But I've made a, a, a pact that I'm only listening to it in my car. Because if I listen to it at home, it'll last. I'll be done with it in a day. So I have to just listen in my car. Apparently, um, just, again, to, uh, to reiterate how much I love this thing, considering I've been watching the interviews, apparently Tommy has said that only 50% of the book is true. I only agree with 50%, the rest is bullshit. And then he since, in recent years, um, changed his opinion of the book to, I only agree with 40%, rest is not true, <laughs> You know, I mean, it's done, it's out, I, there's nothing I can do to change, it's done, book is out. So he's not exactly happy about it, because it doesn't exactly paint him in the most competent light. Um, but then, in, in, in an interview with Greg, he said that Tommy has a copy of it on his desk and he's read it like dozens of times. It's like his Bible. So even though it kind of trash talks Tommy in a lot of ways, he also can't stop reading it. I'm assuming it's probably really exciting for him to have a book written about him, no matter how unflattering. But, 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 and this is a big but, let me just say one last thing about this. It does humanize him, and you find out that he does have a bit of a heart, and that he treated Greg really, really, really good, and he actually does have a story to him as a human being. Human being! Like, he, um, you know, he cares about his friends. He's a lonely guy. 
Greg meets him and he's in a very low point in his life and you know you kind of like see them bond over their interest their common interest of like James Dean for example so um he is a creepy fuck and he's weird as hell but he and Greg are still like best friends to this day despite this fucking crazy book that he wrote when he first when Greg first sees him at an acting school he um describes him as looking like a pirate and then, like, for the first, like, you know, whole chapter, he just describes Greg, uh, he describes Tommy as a, as a pirate. The pirate spoke. You know, shit like that. Egg turtle? Ooh. Ooh, 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 what are you guys doing? Oh, that's how you do this. <laughs> I love this game. But, but my speed run. I took so long on this shine, my speedrun potential for the world record. It can never happen now. <laughs> Gotta reset the run. Yashi? My egg. Yoshi music. I need I need Yoshi music right now. This dude's just fucking on fire. What is he doing that he got himself set on fire though? Like how <laughs> How stupid. Dude, come on. You saved me. Four blue coins total. World record pace. Okay, I'm ready to spit some juice. It's just juice. <laughs> the noises. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to get up here. So X is the button. Okay, I, I have the button now. Um, oh, damn it, Yoshi. Oh, no, Yoshi! Disintegrated! <laughs> that was fucking... Like, the molecular structure of the Yoshi got ripped apart. Mind you, this isn't the same Yoshi. This is a different one, because the, the previous Yoshi is now dead. Oh wait, no, no, I got it. Oh, that that is going to be kind of fucking impossible to get though. Or 
we go. Good pin yet. Big pin yet. I wonder if this made any kids that played it cleaner. Like, you know what? I'm filthy. I never clean my room. And then after they play Mario Sunshine. You know, it wouldn't it would be nice if the news would cover like a success story. Like and not video games have turned, you know, gamers into murderers or whatever. But like Mario Sunshine made gamers want to uh clean their room more. I don't know. Or go into a career of, of cleaning, which is not very illustrious, but it you know, it's necessary. We need people to clean things. It made people shower more. No, we won't hear it. No, 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 no. But remember, Doom has turned us all to killers. You look very capable to me. Listen, it all started around noon. This giant manta-shaped thing showed up. It's paper thin. Silhouette. Came and covered the hotel grounds in this electric goop. Then, oh, the horror! My beautiful hotel! My poor building! Sank in the middle of that awful ooze. Why me? Why? Got the staff cleaning up, but where's my house? What am I supposed to do? I can't just sit back and... Ah, uh, it's back! The gossamer ghoul! Do something! The Shining. Oh, here we go. Got some audio crackles for this one. I see the frame rates dipping too. Some of the more intensive stuff. Comical spring noise. Wait a minute, wait, they're cheating. So water from my nozzle kills them. But when they go into like the pool or the ponds or whatever, it's it's they're fine. Cheaters. I, I hate to say this, but just chaotically spinning seems to be the best option. The water pressure. There you go. Smart. That's why I like you. Smart. You ever see the, the mobster movies where someone says something okay, like normal or, or kind of somewhat intelligent? I, I always liked you. I knew I liked you because you, you, you was smart. You just keep waiting for the note to change, but it never does. These boos aren't necessarily hell-bent on- they look like they're fucking drunk, actually. I was gonna say, usually boos find a way to, like, chase you and be assholes, but... It looks like these boos are... ...somewhat docile and possibly drunk. They're boos boos. And they were on spring break. <laughs> you need to switch to Luigi for this mission. Luigi, this is a cleaning mission. Oh, this one's gonna be a fucking mess. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> my, my trajectory was slightly to the left. Don't be ridiculous, Mark! <sighs> My dead zones are weird. Well, I mean, I'm using a GameCube controller, it, and, and there's native support. Dolphin has native, uh... What is this? What is that? <sighs> Yes, <laughs> 
Mother of fuck, those blocks were going fast! Oh, that was clutch. Um, at least the crashing hasn't been too substantial. Uncork the bay. Uh, welcome, Master Mario, I presume? We have heard much about you, yes. All of it good. For me, I am just an old man who loves nothing but fishing. Uh, lately, I've had a terrible problem. Please look up there. At least we get to see most of the levels during this stream. So that's pretty cool. I don't know who did it, but someone corked our waterfall. This no doubt is why our lovely bay has become polluted. I can't even fish, and so I ask for your help. Yank the cork. Please fulfill this old man's wish. What's that? You'll do it? Okay, thanks so much. I know I can count on you. Just beware that guy on the cork. I heard one of the cameramen say desperately, how are we ever going to get this? It's impossible. We'll be here forever. Then, just for comic relief, Don and Brianna arrived on set to pick up their checks. Tommy, sitting in the makeup chair while Amy iced his forehead down, ignored them at first. Brianna talked to Juliet as Don ginned up the courage to approach Tommy. This is kind of Their stuff brief, you need to hear chilly exchange in context. Ended with Tommy signing two $1,500 checks. Don, I could tell, was a little relieved not to be doing the room. Really, he was surprisingly decent about the whole thing, even telling me that someday we'd be able to laugh about this. How true Tommy that is. Tommy deigned to acknowledge Don, but he wouldn't, for whatever reason, talk to or even look at Brianna. I gave Brianna her check. Look at him, she said, holding it as though about to rip it in half. Tommy was still sitting in makeup, pressing an ice pack to his forehead. He won't even acknowledge me. He's such a pussy. Tommy noticed me idling too long with Brianna and called me over. Greg, I need you here. He wanted to continue running his lines. It was hopeless. He still couldn't remember them, and now, to make things worse, it was possible he had a concussion. Sandy and I huddled together and came up with a handy formula for Tommy to remember. When I returned to Tommy, I said this. Okay, so here's what you do. I did not, mad, 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 throw the water bottle, stop, notice me, look up. Tommy asked that I repeat the formula several times. Show me once more, Tommy said. By now his bruise had been buried beneath a beige snowdrift of concealer. He was, finally, ready. He took a breath, returned to the outhouse, and did the scene. At long last, we got the shot. Yay. It took three hours and 32 takes, but we got the shot. If you can, I implore you to watch this scene. It's seven seconds long, three hours, 32 takes. And it was only the second day of filming. <laughs> the next day, Tommy came to the set with some ambitious ideas for camera angles. He wanted to begin by filming the scene in which Johnny and Denny talk on the rooftop and have the camera do some fast spinning motions or maybe do some bird's eye shots from a crane. His other demands, where is football? Art director, we need football. Greg, I need script. I'm missing page 49. Lighting department. We need more lights. The more lights, the better. <laughs> to make things even more exciting, Tommy decided he wanted to film his and Philip's scene while tossing a football back and forth, which is a more complicated thing to stage than it sounds. Tommy, in short, was driving the crew bananas. Raphael was particularly flabbergasted and began taking long walks around the set, tapping his left foot and sometimes calling out, can we do a scene please? Tommy, meanwhile, fretted over minute details with Sandy, such as which direction okay. a thrown football would rotate. These Tommy versus Sandy discussions occasionally became a little surreal. 
Listen, this one's During good. Tommy's scene with Philip, Sandy suggested they get a fan to create the illusion of a windy rooftop. Tommy said that wasn't necessary because it wasn't too hot out. Sandy said, I'm not trying to cool you down. I'm trying to make the scene feel real. Tommy laughed and said, <laughs> Are you tripping me? A fan? That's a good one. <laughs> During the scene, Denny confesses to Johnny that he thinks he might be in love with Johnny's future wife, Lisa. Oh my god. Johnny says this is okay because if everyone in the world loved each other, the world would be a better place. Raphael, who had never seen a full script, watched with a look of disbelief as Tommy recited these lines. Sandy's hand was plastered to his forehead, as though he were trying to keep the weirdness from penetrating his mind. While Tommy was shooting the Johnny Denny rooftop oh, scene, God. the art department was busy dismantling the indoor alley set where Denny's confrontation with Chris Hart had been filmed. Okay, that's 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 enough. I think uh just, just wanted to get a little bit more. Um I'll tell you one more scene. I, I'm a little obsessed with this at the moment. But I just want to tell you something that you might enjoy. Which is at one point during production, uh Tommy Wiseau thought it would be a great idea. Fuck, do you throw this thing again? Oh, you, you don't actually do it in first person, okay. This is a very tight, toit corridor for this. Toit, very toit. Um, there, at one point, he wanted to... <laughs> he wanted to end the end of the room, right? He had this brilliant idea during filming that, th that his car would fly off into space. And he was like, you know, I think we need to have car go into space in the green screen. You know, maybe Johnny is vampire. So that almost happened. And the script supervisor, Sandy, was just like, nope. Nope. And everyone else was like, nope. And so it got vetoed. The idea got vetoed. But he wanted to in the room. At one point during production, he thought it would be a great idea if if his car were to fly off into space. Maybe Johnny Vampire. All right. So let's save this once again. We got 21. There will be less room and disaster artists next time I stream this. Though I think many of you are enjoying it as much as I am. But. Yeah, so that was uh, Mario Sunshine. That went fairly well this time. I'd say it went, uh, like, at least 75% better than it did last time. Maybe 80% better. Um, but yeah, that's that's a lot of progress, and I feel like, I feel like we're doing good. Alright, welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. Yeah! <laughs> For no reason. For no reason at all, I've I've turned into a goblin. Twenty-one shines. Okay, still got a lot of game left. Uh, let's see, where are we gonna go? Let's go, to Todd. I'm under the impression that this hurts the Todd. But really, they're okay with it. There's just a cushy, cushiony, springy thing somewhere in their head. In their hat or head, I'm not sure. Wiggler Ahoy, full steam ahead. Yeah, I'm not, like, if you take off the toad hat, do they die? Because in the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, it's just a hat. But then, I'm not sure if it's canon that it's actually a hat or if it's a part of their fucking body. Or their their skull. Like maybe they they're just shroom folk. I'm not entirely sure. I, I have to figure this out. We need some definitive information about this, about the Todds. It kinda worked, right? Oh, I have to hit the specific segment. Got it. Why? This wiggler is fucking immense. 
That's a word I haven't used in a while, actually. I like that word. Because there's, there's a lot of different words for huge, or big, and there's varying degrees of big. Right? I like massive, I like giant, huge, those are good ones, but immense is a really good one. And an underused one in my vocabulary, so I'm gonna start using immense. Humongous. Oh, that's a good one. That could also be a person's name. Come on, Mario. Mario! Yeah. McDouble? I don't- I don't know if the word McDouble is, in fact, a synonym for huge. Oh, man. It's a little morbid. I don't know, something about the thing turning into sand and disintegrating hurts my soul a little bit more than if it were just like to disappear in a tuft of smoke. It's- it's kind of... somewhat disconcerting. I mean, the, the finality of that... Wiggler's death is- is very, very apparent to me. At this moment in time. Also, doesn't that ride in the background kind of look like Mike's icon? Like the mask. It does, doesn't it? A little bit. I wanted to let you guys know that I finished the Disaster Artist audiobook, finally. And I have a lot more empathy for Tommy. I still don't like the guy. Um, but I have empathy for him. And I also feel like, you know, I kind of better understand his position, um, in life. What he, where he came from, how he made his money. I didn't realize that Greg had answered, or at least proposed some answers to these questions in, in the book. It's still an- he's still an anomaly, but it- like I said, I didn't particularly love him or hate him. I just kind of wanted to learn more about him, and I did. And it was a fascinating journey, and uh, I will miss that book because I loved every minute of it. I need to give Yachi- Yachi the fruit. Fruit. Gib yat Yachi the fruit. The only word in that sentence that is correct is the word the. Y A T C H T Yachi. <laughs> I don't even know where I'd find Froop. Oh, here's Froop. Fucking bees. It's funny because for someone that supposedly wants to fuck them, they they really I mean, every time I find a bee in a video game, it's usually a nightmare. There he is, Yachi. Okay, I can't wait to lose Yachi immediately by dumping him into the lake. Mission 8 in each area does not make you progress in the game at all. Oh, whoops. Told you. So what the fuck am I doing here then? No, I don't feel like, uh, doing all- I'm not getting all the shines, I'm sorry. Even though I just... Probably could have taken some time to get those red coins. If you're telling me that I only need to do seven... In each world... Then that's good enough. This will not be a 100% playthrough. That would take a very long time, and we have... So many games to play, so many people to see. So many Yachis to drown. Well, there you go. There's- that's me, Blooper. Surfing Big Daddy. Bloopy, for short. Oh, man. Bioshock ripped off of Mario Sunshine. Okay, always go green. Always. Yeah. 
extended death scene. I swear this isn't some kind of like, I mean, you should go green anyway, as much as you can. I, I you know, that's, I guess, but it's not like political commentary or social commentary that you should always go green. Oh, well, we're doing yellow. <laughs> it's an accident. It's Ridge Racer. Is it just me or the E3 fail compilations more entertaining than the actual E3 conferences? Like 80 to 90% of the time. Ridge Racer. Wondering about that final kern. Get me off the squid. What? Love the mouth noises so much. Disgusting guttural sounds directly from my throat to your family household. You know why? Because I didn't go green. Whoa, whoa! That was almost a game over. Guys, I don't know what to do. Yep. Oh God, Jesus! Oh no, no! You always go green, unless the day is green. Suck this squid. Why am I now this squid? Oh God, the camera's fucked up. Oh no! I couldn't change the camera! I couldn't move, I couldn't change the camera! Really? What is going on? I didn't hit the switch. Dismount. Escape. Escape! <laughs> oh, yes! Oh. Oh god, I'm on Rico Harbor right now. Oyster Harbor Harbor and Rico Harbor. Okay, okay, camera. Camera. Harbor. I, I almost couldn't get the word out. Okay, here it is. Here it is, guys. Check this. And I'm stuck again. Huh. Tell me your secrets. I've returned the waterfall to normal. The ocean's still dirty. Strange. Looks like my theory was way off. Hack. That's okay. I think I've got a lead on the real cause. This may not seem like much of a reward, but I'm gonna reveal to you one of Noki Bay's deepest secrets. Contains the tomb of the ancient Noki king. When you spray water on the wall paintings, a path usually opens. It's almost like magic. This is all true. Maybe. How many times I've said the same thing? Someone said, did you know that nobody sneezed before World War II? Which, I'm assuming... This chat member was gonna follow that up with, this is true. Maybe. But that didn't happen. I'm waiting for it. I just couldn't believe it. It was bullshit.
No shit. This dude's a mini boss now, huh? Oh, anytime I get a chance to rip some tentacles off of a squid, I'm happy. Alright, so I have a confession to make. There's a room screening in Manhattan coming up during the week of Comic-Con. And I may have purchased tickets to go see the room with a Q&A from Tommy Wiseau afterwards. I'm gonna try to get a picture with Tommy. And that way the circle will be complete. What circle? I don't know. An imaginary circle I've made up just now. But it needs to be complete. Even though at this point in time I'm a little sick of the room. I am a little bit over this. Because in the past two weeks I've heard everything I, there is to know about the production. I've watched the movie again, and I've played the game. So I, I've got the full experience, and I've seen tons of interviews and stuff. But, doesn't matter, I get to meet the guy in person, maybe ask him a question. So it's, it's... You know, I, it'll all be worth it, I hope. What if he seduces me? <laughs> well, that's life. And you, you know what they say, <laughs> love is blind. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess I didn't stop doing the impression, huh? Buy a football and have him sign it. That's actually pretty nice. That's a nice idea. Mario. Everyone around here pronounces it Mario. And due to the sheer overwhelming embarrassment of every time I said Mario, people would type M-A-H or M-E-H-R-I-O, which isn't even really a... That doesn't really quite work, does it? Because I'm saying Mario, not Mario. But, anyway, people were doing that, when I- when I was streaming, people thought it was weird when I first started streaming. They were like, Mario? Who the fuck says Mario? And I was like, I do. So anyway, I stopped saying Mario, I start saying Mario. Because apparently the rest of the fucking world says that. And then... <laughs> what- what do you know? My, um... Oh, I got this. I like this one. So what do you know, then I become the only asshole locally that says Mario, and everyone else is like, why are you saying it like that? It's Mario. I'm like, no, it's Mario. They're like, no, it's Mario. So I learned a lesson. A, be true to yourself, or be true to your school, according to the Beach Boys, or just lie better. So do one thing when you're around one group of people, and then do another thing entirely when you're around a different group of people. Wrecked here years ago. I often think about the far shore, but I can't swim. I've never left this little island. Isn't that just awful? <laughs> but, but wait a minute. That's not that far, dude. Yeah, that, that is a really, really fucking tremendously sad story. This poor guy couldn't swim like 50 feet. Wait a minute. Oh, we lost music again. Now it's just ominous. Sharp-ass textures. Benvenuto! Is it Italian? I should know. These are my people. I know less Italian than an Italian baby. Mario squirts to reach new heights. Thank God you guys are on point tonight, because I got nothing. I'm just 
just finding secrets all over the fucking place, though. <laughs> no, I'm not using an IGN guide for this. God! Remember when IGN was the only website that you could go to? Because the other ones weren't good. Actually, that was never my experience. But, I can tell you this, I did use IGN guides. I remember when Ocarina of Time came out, I was waiting for their guide. This looks like a deconstructed pixel Luigi. Like, ripped limb from limb. Even though it's all like a vacation and like beach theme, for the most part, I love the levels. The joy of this game is, is like the worlds. I like revisiting all the... All the areas, they're all really, really special. And it's weird because they aren't as... It's not like ice world. You have fire world, kind of. Um, and lava. But it's not as... Varietous... <laughs> as some other... Games. You don't have like, spooky world. Well, you kind of do, don't you? Now, there's, there's a decent amount of variety now that I think about it. Ah! Oh, no! D did you guys just see Mario's head? Like, do some... Like, poltergeist exorcist shit? I'm sure there's an incredibly impressive way to climb this in some speedrunning fashion involving sick flips and trick. Whoa, I just went through the wall there. Keep instinctively pressing the B button to punch up. But there is no bless up or punch up in this game. You have to jump. You have to press the A button to do that. Fuck off. Someone in chat just said, as someone who is a self-proclaimed Mario Sunshine expert, this is so cring. I mean, self-proclaimed? Well, I apologize that my, um, my Mario Sunshining has been rusty for the past 13 years. Unfortunately, I haven't revisited since I first played it, but if, if the cring factor is a little too high, I can give you a P.O. box that you can write to. Be sure to send a marked postcard. And if the cring doesn't con- if the cring continues after two weeks, then you gotta see a doctor. There we go. Creme de la creme. Cring de la cring. As self-proclaimed master of memes, I'd like to let you know that I'm wholeheartedly disappointed that this cring meme isn't as, as quality as it could be. I think we could do better. <laughs> self-proclaimed? Yeah, I'm not really, at this point, self-proclaimed. It's just proclaimed. Which reminds me of a band from Scotland called The Proclaimers. We now wake up, and I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do just what I've got to do today. When I go out to the pub, I'm gonna be exactly what I'm gonna be today. Cause I would walk 5,000 miles 
You like that? <laughs> Someone needs to do that. And maybe we can get the proclaimers themselves to just cover it in the most, like, Scottish way possible. I don't think they do it Scottish enough. Someone in chat just said, Darren is crying right now, but he spelt it Kring. So that kind of works, actually. Except Darren is Irish. <laughs> Darren's not Scottish. There's a big difference. I would spam 5,000 memes, and I would spam 5,000 more. Just like the way this sunset looks and... I don't know, it's just a cool little... Cool little area. You get some outdoor missions. And then the rest are in the hotel, in the spoop tell. Uh, the spoop tell, though, is a little claustrophobic. So I don't necessarily love the, the way it, the gameplay is in the spoop tell. But it is, it is a cool level, and I, I generally enjoy spoop levels. So, maybe I won't say that this is my favorite overall. Music is pretty good, too. See a crack. That was only mildly helpful. Is it true that Yachi can eat the, um, the ghosts? Why am I speaking like this? I really need to stop. This is muck. Oh, shit. Remember that. A creepy vibe from this weird painting, but you want to know what I find even creepier than that? Imagining how you got in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Look. For anyone who's never played this game before. Look at the negative space between the trees. Between the trees of love! This is a cool level. I, I, I like this. My favorite, most useful booze. And what have you to say for yourself? Wait a minute, where did you come in from? I'm calling for help! In a Mario game, it's whimsical. In real life, Mario would be escorted off the premises. This is one of a few ways to go. That tongue, so long. So, so pure. <laughs> I almost felt pity on that ghost. You must leave. You must leave. Yoshi. Not like that. Yoshi, Yoshi, please! Yoshi, please! Ah! Oh! <laughs> okay. All right, let's see if I've learned my lesson for the third time. I would like to once again apologize to the self-proclaimed Mario Sunshine expert. 
Kring is real. It's a real problem we face in America, and quite frankly, throughout the world. And at this present time, I know you're being exposed to a high dosage of Kring. But it's gonna be okay. You know, in reality, I just kind of forgot that their door was open. Also, when I swallow the booze, it sounds like they're going fuck, like le like uh, Billy Harrington and Van Darkholm, like some kind of like leather club. Fuck! Oh, this looks like a fucking nightmare. Oh wait, no, this one isn't- this isn't that bad. That is actually kind of a cool level. At the speed of sound. Why are people shocked that I got that on the first try? I was feeling good for a minute. People were like, holy shit, Vinny did it in the first try. And then, like, four other people were like, it's not hard. Diminish my accomplishments, why don't you? Where's the pachinko level? Under the boats. Yeah, I want to do another level in the first try. So that way people can be like, it was easy. <laughs> So, <laughs> this is the pachinko level. This is the dreaded pachinko level. I've, I don't remember this level. I've been hearing a lot about it since I started this playthrough. GG, easy. I'm sorry, what was the problem? Well, that felt pretty good. And then of course... Psh, that level was easy. I could have did it without a hover nozzle. Now the sandbird? Where's the sandbird? Take me. Take me to the sandbird, everyone. Go ahead. I'm ready for it. I'll probably... I'll probably fuck this up. This is it right here, too. Look, I'm, I'm at the perfect spot. I'm doing three hard ones in a row, apparently. Okay. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. It's the legendary Sandberg, everyone. It's the legendary Andy Sandberg.
Where's the where's the last where's the last one? pads that probably won't be for a while I don't know where that is I don't know when that is but where what's lily pad it's the little island with the pianta watermelon time the island with the guy trapped it's the hardest shine to get in the game by far you need to find a Yoshi and ride some boats all right let's try it I'm three for three. I don't think I'll do four for four, but I, I'd be up for the challenge. Alright, now I just have to find a way to get out. It's the middle of the goddamn ocean. Alright, so this first, that's part of it. The first part is to disintegrate your Yoshi. On the set of the room, I'll relay a little story for you that you might find funny. Tommy, for reasons I'm sure you can imagine, wanted a... Five minutes of silence. For a certain one year anniversary. Five minutes. And then whenever someone giggled, he put another five minutes on the clock. And then when that was done, he led the entire cast and crew in a chant of USA! USA! Five minutes of silence. You can get to the first island by sewer pipe to skip the first boat. I know that for next time now. And there is going to be a next time, make no mistake. Sorry. Necessary. It's necessary. time I just need to not go too far just like George Lucas I may have gone too far in a few places wow this is this is a fucking trek and a half I see why you guys are telling me to farm lives now so I'll eat this fruit as I get closer to dying. I thought I vomited those bananas back up. Did you see that? That was an accidentally perfectly timed thing. Nanners. I have one extra life. Oh god, I- you know, I have to do this now. I- I- whatever this level is, I don't know how torturous this level is, I don't remember it. But however bad this level is, if I don't do it, I only have one other shot. And then I have to do all of this boating all over again. No? Okay. Okay, what do we got here? I'm already shitting.
Oh, it's over. This is a this is a fucking hard level, especially for a first try. I like how there's no real way to slow this thing down either. GG. <laughs> well, that was cool. <laughs> Holy fuck, my hands are sweaty right now, guys. We have a watermelon competition, huh? Mine's the biggest, right? Uh, things in the bag, man. Looks to me, forced the coin on me, and then, well, he made me switch watermelons with him. Yeah, mine was so much bigger than his. What a mess. Doot, doot. Doot, 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 doot. Doot, doot. So I have to bring the biggest watermelon. Kind of remembered being japed by the watermelons. Quality, quality enemy. Wow! Really? Holy fuck, Mario's got, like, multiple concussions. Fractured skull. There, there's no way he's surviving this. He looks okay now, but, it, and, you know, he's gonna look like Luigi did in that cartoon that, that, um... I can't think of his name, but the, the, the Terminal 7 cartoon, you know which one I'm talking about. Bees. Bees! Fuck! Mario doesn't sound well. Alright, well, because of this little... <laughs> oh, wow, that was just... That was a fucking brutal way to die. Wow. That was... That was great. A series of unfortunate and horrendous events. I mean, you guys saw what happened. You saw what the cum quack did to me. You know, that was like well beyond my control. My only mistake was that I, I, I made any kind of contact with the cum quack even one time. I'm not sure if this is the right way. Holy shit. What just happened? That fucking watermelon did some amazing thi- You... Bitch. This doesn't seem like a difficult mission, so much as it seems like a- just an annoying one. What's it growing from? It's growing out of fucking- out of dirt and rock. Well, just rock. Stone.
Don't you burst my melon. You fucking cumquacks. Mission complete. Oh, you scum. No, oh, stay away from the clunk quack! Wait a minute, do I have to roll this on the pier now? Take the watermelon, um, good luck, doot doot. Careful. Must go care must go careful. Must must go careful. It's a big old watermelon like I've never seen. I don't even need to get out of the caliper for this one. You win. Best watermelon. Shine, get. Hello, Mr. Hero. Uh, have you tried the Yoshi go round? I don't know if Yoshi's, you say. The orange one broke. I forgot about that. I like the funds to fix it, so we just took it off. They used to roam free, but now they they used to roam this island free, but now they've gone. <laughs> Now we will stick Yoshi on a pike. I, I thought that was kind of weird. Game almost crashed. Wait, what? Oh boy. Oh, one of these, huh? Ah, uh, we couldn't go a single stream without one of these, huh? Fuck. Believe in the dew. And the dew will believe in you. Where's Mountain Dew? I need to get in touch with them. I think I got a new slogan. Yay. Parkour. And we leave with 41. <laughs> 41, what a nice number to leave off on. What? You dick, you missed. You're supposed to get me in the thing. That was weird, okay. <laughs> I got it though. 42. The answer to life, the universe, and everything. And it's an even number, so it's not gonna piss that many people off. Myself included. So, I think we did a pretty good job tonight. This was a lot of progress made.
Many shines, many fun. Uh, I love this game. I think this is uh, an amazing game and it is aged very well. So uh, it is an absolute joy to play this for you all. Hello, hi again. We're good now. Thank you for your patience. I had to do some some checking and double checking and everything worked out great, so we're back. Welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. The last time I played Super Mario Sunshine, I completed some some annoying levels, and now we're here to just chill and get some more shines and uh, enjoy enjoy the game. Shine. Anyone need shine? Forty three shine. Wow. Well, Pianta Village looks really nice. Looks great. This texture pack is nice because, again, it doesn't... It does not presume. It just kind of... takes what the original game had and spruces them up a little bit, tightens up the graphics on level 3. Um, while still maintaining the visual appeal and aesthetic of Sunshine. There are some shitty textures. I've, I've noticed some things that, that I didn't care for. But overall, it's been a pretty, it's been a pretty good experience. Hey, mister, think you could, what? This lady's pets have decided to go on a little rampage, not the bees. They seem to be acting normal. Not the bees! Fuck! This goop looks bad even on GCN. I don't quite remember, but I'm sure it... I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's GameCube. We've come a long way. Goop, goop physics have come so far. We, we're now at... Splatoon levels of goop, which if you if you played Splatoon, you know Splatoon has some pretty pretty nice goop. <laughs> oh, that that sounded like that was loud. I, it was that loud. Are there any people in chat? I think this is the best Mario, the best 3D Mario game ever made. If so, type anus. You need to chill. Cool down. I don't acknowledge this yes word that you're using. Well, someone said it's my favorite, but I don't think it's the best. I think there's a lot of good ones that it's 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 really hard to choose. Ha having played this again for the first time in years, I'm feeling like this might be maybe my favorite. It was my favorite when it first came out. I mean, really, at the time, I only had two to choose from. But now that the Galaxy games and the 3D worlds and lands are out, I can... I have more to choose from. Galaxy may be better for a few reasons. Galaxy 1 and 2. Um, they were more innovative in a lot of ways. They did um, the whole thing pretty much to perfection. The, the Mario 3D platformer formula. Um, and I love them dearly, both Galaxy games. But the theme of this one, Flood, the, the world's the world. Remember, always be kind to your pets. Flood has to say that just in case... It, just in case a bunch of kids go and, you know, find their cat and dog and they're like, I can do that! I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pull Mr. Fluffles' tail now! <laughs>
Yeah, there's a lot of character. This game has a lot of character. And uh, Flood, I think, is just too goddamn fun. Flood is amazing. You cannot beat me. You beat me! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Oh, come on! <laughs> and then the chat's response, of course, is, I never doubted it. <laughs> this is the appropriate response, chat. Well done. Let's try this again. You cannot beat me. <laughs> it's the victory horn. They're still blowing it. Try again after practice more until then. to be down here. Man! I, I read two people's messages accidentally together. And it was Vinny, I think you need to go under the place where you had nightmares as a kid. But I'm pretty sure that was two messages. This level gave me nightmares as a kid. And then the other one was, I think you need to go under the place where you died before. But I, I read them both together. So now my assumption is I have to go to the place of nightmares. But that's not the way to go. You know what's gonna happen, right? When Nintendo announces the NX. They're going to announce that they, they're launching with the Super Mario Sunshine remake. And then all this will have been for naught. We're getting Flood back, that's good too. This, this seems like a suspicious way to be. Also, those are the seagulls from Ocarina of Time. Oh look, it's Flood. <laughs> Alright! Well there you go, there's the cheapage that I was so desperately in need of. Haha, <laughs> you crazy chicken. Coins I will never get. Just trying to keep the chickens down. Spliglobelin! That's what he said. Spliglobelin! Jump off the side. Oh, look at that. There's a mushroom right there. So when you said jump off the side, you meant, like, live. Right? Like, like not die?
Thanks, Chuck Chuckster. <laughs> See, the thing about this level is it's not necessarily a difficult level if you just know exactly where to get chucked. You know? You want them to chuck you right in the A. In the A spot. You gotta, you gotta get chucked. This one, they gotta, he's gotta chuck you hard. This one has to chuck you not so hard. And you just gotta line up your chuck. You know, cause that's... That's just stupid. That's just dumb. See? Now you know what not to do, so let me show you how to do the level now. So, here's how you actually complete the level. <laughs> oh, you cunt! Are there infinite things? Are there- they're like little duck fellows. What is this? What is this duck fellows? I don't know which way to go. <laughs> I don't know which way to go. This, this level is annoying as fuck, isn't it? it? Seems to be the appropriate way to go. There's the shine. There's bullshit. That's what that is. That's bullshit. You don't want that. You don't want the bullshit. Whatever you do, avoid the bullshit. He's gonna toss me into the fucking. Yep. Go chuck yourself. Why is this chuck such a such an asshole though? Like you have to line this thing up like so perfectly. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. Fuck off, Chuck. <laughs> Where? Where? One at the start is still drowning in despair? What? I walked past it? Wait, really? Oh! <laughs> you mean they weren't actually drowning, they were just covered in goop. I thought that was just an orange Pianta. <laughs> I thought it was just an orange Pianta, guys. I thought that was just its style. So about that shine. It's like digital heroin, grabbing a fucking shine. It's like. <laughs> what language was that? Oh, that was duck. That was addiction duck. Duck who is addicted to collecting shines as if it was some kind of drug. Will I ever play Luigi's Mansion? I, I have. I've played both. What have you got? The answer to our polluted ocean problem. Answer is you. You must go to the ocean floor. 
It's impossible for you at the moment, therefore I made you an area for you to hone your skills. With it, wear this, you could stay underwater much, much longer. Use flood to move around. Also, by the way, I have power to- I have the power to shrink you and put you into a- into a bottle. <laughs> no, this isn't weird. Also, when I shrink you, you have to be naked. I swear it's not weird. Well, turning kind of blows. That's what's going on. What is that? What was that? What's happening? <laughs> what's happening? Um. So, that's inexplicable. Yeah, get stuck! See it, the question mark gave it away. I know where the coin is now. The water current didn't render. Oh, oh. Well, that explains it. Will I ever play Wario World? I've considered it. I like the first Wario World. The amount of fucking coins Mario's collected, and every time we see his house, it's like a little shack. Meanwhile, this motherfucker is working so hard to keep everyone safe all the time, and the dude's living in a shack with his brother. His man-child brother who won't grow up, and won't get a job, other than hunting ghosts every now and then, of course. Like, you know, dude, just Mario, buy it, buy your own mansion. Cool fucking blue coin. I'm ready. The gunk in the ocean is caused by a giant eel It's moved into our ancestral home. This is now Monster Hunter. It's my favorite monster, Kadoosh. When I played 21 The World, one of the rooms was the bottle. Nearly identical to the one in Super Mario Sunshine. That's correct, actually. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. The newly uncorked waterfall created a gap in the pollution that you can use in an, as an entrance. Jump in right there, dive to the bottom, and clean that eel's teeth. How do you know how to do all this? It really is. Fucking Monster Hunter. <laughs> it's, it's like what, Cadius? How do you pronounce it? Kadoosh? I call it Kadoosh. Cedius. Oh, like God. Oh, like the God of the Sea. Your teeth filthy. It's disgusting like hell. Getting my buttons confused now. I'm like pressing the wrong buttons. Yeah. 
That was close. A speed run this is not. Oh, that, that tooth came off! I almost feel bad for the fecker. It is dark, I feel fright. What's happening? All right, good camera angle. It's a, it's a quality camera angle. So the camera is upside down and stationary. Things are now Purdue. Completely Purdue. I can't hit any button. Y button, anything. Can I drown? Please drown. Please drown, Mario. I'm actually not taking damage. I don't think I'm dying. I can't even press start. I can't press pause. Nothing. This is a result of bad PC. Oh shit, something's happening. I was supposed to have died. The only thing I can do is shoot and change from flood to flood. That's it. I can't move. I, I can't turn. I just collected coins, apparently. I gotta restart. That sucks. But what you don't realize, I'm just farming gear from this eel to build into some Monster Hunter-esque armor. The hover seems to be the quickest, but it's also a little hard to keep, you know, so it's a little hard to keep your shit together while you're hovering. God. Oh my God. I keep telling myself sixty frame rates, fix sixty frame rates, sixty frame rates. Keep those Tifas. No, I want this. I want to see the Tifas. Come on, open the open the mouth. Open the mouth. It's a race against the clock before the game crashes. One more stanky tooth. Remember to take proper care of your teeth. Listen up, kids. It's a lesson for you. Seems to be the problem, Ossifer. Uh, 
this this entire area sucks. I am so afraid of it. I'm afraid of glitching and crashing and bullshit. I was like, I was watching that gold tooth with bated breath. I was like, <gasps> work, work. I thought it was on the verge of crashing because of, of its vibrations. Remember, don't gamble, kids. Get back in. Go, get back in. Congratulations, you won! Thanks. Thanks. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's exactly what I wanted. So the boo that's just loose. We're not gonna worry about that, right? But what are frogs? What are frogs? Oh, there's the boo. Oh. Congratulations! You won another game! Yeah, this this part, I kind of vaguely remember there's a big deal about the casino and the boo boss because there was a lot of randomness. The RNG was, was definitely a part of the speedruns. <laughs> Lack of patience kills the Mario. Um... Doo doo. Hwaiso. That's how you pronounce his name. Hwaiso. What do you mean Tommy doesn't love me back? I'm going to see him. On a week from this Saturday coming up. I'm going to see him. Do you understand? I will profess my love. Did I tell you guys? I never told you guys about the story of, of my cousin, right? Now, I have many, many cousins. But one particular cousin... One particular cousin was really into, um... N oh, that's nice. <laughs> I forgot to jump, what do you know? Um, one particular cousin, she was very into spirituality and, and, and stuff. And she was into, like, crystals and... and you know, I, be I believe that meditating is good for you. I also believe that chakras are possibly a thing. So I have some degree of, of belief in, in that. Meditating has a number of health benefits. I was never really too into it. So I, I was never, like, on board with a lot of the stuff she would talk about. But, I, you know, I was always um, interested in, in hearing what she had to say about it. I'll just keep dying. That's cool. Anyway, long story short, she was into crystals and new wave, new age stuff, and also John Cena. Uh, not kidding. So I remember about ten years ago or eight years ago, whenever this was, um, she tells me that she was she had dreams about John Cena, and she dreamed that she was going to be with him, and that they were going to be together. And she had a very strong astral feeling. Okay. Now I don't know if you know that. I don't know if you knew this, but astral feelings are obviously more important and stronger than any regular old feelings. But she she was very adamant that, that her and John Cena were going to be together. So, um, she told me that she was going to go to a book signing and she was going to do some stuff. And I said, okay. Now at this time, her and I were talking. Um, we haven't really spoke in a while for a, a, a number of reasons. But, at this time we were talking, so she tells me, you know, that she's gonna do some stuff. And I'm like, don't be weird. She's like, no, no, no. 
it's gonna be great. Anyway, two weeks later, she tells me that she went to a book signing where, where John Cena was either signing, not like just doing autographs someplace. Maybe it wasn't books, maybe it was just him autographing. Again, it's been a long time since I heard this, but so I'm kind of doing the best I can. My memory is shit. So John Cena is signing things. She goes, it's her turn. And she told me that she looked him in the eyes. And she was projecting herself into his, into his heart and mind. And then she opened his hand and put like a bunch of like crystals in his hand along with her phone number on a piece of paper and said some like cryptic shit like you'll know when the time is right and then closed his hand around the crystals and phone number and then she said any any day now he's gonna call me and uh he never called her so one of the reasons her and I haven't spoken is uh, John Cena, of course. I was in love with John Cena. You know, and this was something I told, I was like, please, don't take, don't take him away from me. She didn't regard me. All right, she didn't regard me and she tried anyway and I will never, never get over it. You know, I, I needed to use my J.O. crystals. I tried to years later, but the, they weren't potent. They were not potent enough for Cena. And so I was unable to get in touch with him and be in love with him and, and make him mine. My J.O. crystals were not strong enough, um, but neither were hers, sadly. So, yeah, it's just a shame. One day I'd like to establish a, a relationship again, but, you know, we have to find a new wrestler. <laughs> there's there's got to be another wrestler that we could give J.O. crystals to. And again, this is this is the story to the best of my ability of remembering it. Um, you know, obviously I wasn't there. But this is more or less... I'm almost 100% positive that you got the, the full gist of it. With the crystals and the phone number thing. I gotta, yeah, I gotta get to Shockmaster. I gotta get get him some of my J.O. crystals. I'm gonna charge them... ...nicely. Unfortunately, the casino's closed. There are creepy sounds coming from the basement. Can we trick you? I mean, ask you for your help? <laughs> These people do not run a good establishment. So yeah, this, this boss has RNG, if I remember correctly, from the AGDQ speedrun I watched of it. Which was a good one. Good this slows down some speedruns. Wasn't worth it. This ghost does not like spicy foods. Oh, there's another spice! I didn't see the other spicy food, I missed it. You have to keep him on fire and hit him. Whoops. Oh, I played- I did that poorly. I chose poorly. Oh, fuck. 
come quacks too? No, get these fucking things out of here. No. I do good? Was that what I had to do? I done did good. It could be a long fight. It could be a long fight. It's a pain in the butt. Come on, boo! Come on, give me the spiciness. Give me the spicy pepper. Stanky. Spicy and stanky. Here we go. Three hits and you're dead. Still not the hardest boss I fought today. <laughs> if you missed it, I also defeated Truck Satan earlier in Cluster Truck. And that was... That was... Something. Well, that's it for me tonight. Um, like I said, I wanted to start earlier so I could end earlier, and I believe I've accomplished that. And we've done a number of things tonight. Cluster truck, got a bunch of shines in this. Only 12 shines, but we got some of the harder ones. We finished a world entirely. Have I beaten Sunshine before? Yeah, when it first came out. I haven't played this since it came out, actually. And uh, this game is great. I loved it when it first came out. I love it now. I don't remember a lot of it, but that's for the best. The molecules, Mario's molecules explode. Not to be morbid, but in Star Trek, when they use the transporters, the theory is that the person that steps in dies and an exact replica, like, clone, comes out the other end. Now, the question of a soul is, it, like, how the fuck do you even fit that into this equation? But I'm assuming, since Mario's molecules have just been scattered, that he is, in fact, just now a clone of himself, much like Shadow Mario is. His soul has been transposed onto this new weird amalgamation of mustache and flesh. See, the, the ride never ends. The horror ride never ends. Oh, speaking of, did you know that Miyamoto has, I think, was it recently said that Mario is 26 years old? Where is this little fucker? I, I lost the Shadow Mario. How the fuck am I older? A 24 years old. Sorry, 20... 25... 24, something like that. Yeah, 24 to 25. I think Mo I think Miyamoto's having a jape. There, there's no way I'm older than Super Mario Brothers. That's right. His name is Super Mario Brothers, everyone. He's like a 40-year-old plumber dude who's had, like, hardship and, and strife and blood shards. Like, there's, there's no way he's 24. Because at some other interview, Miyamoto said that he was a creepy old dude. So, I'm not, you know, I'm not really I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sure Miyamoto, maybe he, he was mistranslated or he's just joking around or something. I don't know, man. I'm... I'm not, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if- I don't know if I like this new lore. 
who's older, Mario or Luigi? I don't know. Uh, Miyamoto did not pull that information out of his butt. Oh, Miyamoto has also said that he was Bowser Jr.'s mother, so... I mean, I don't know what's canon anymore. <laughs> what is canon? In Melee, Mario's trophy says he's 26. That's a fucking strong stash for 26. My god. I don't think I could have done a stash like that at 26. That looks like- that looks like a stash that's seen some shit. That looks like a stash that's given some mustache rides, you know? To like... Like... Really like, haggard, withered <laughs> souls. <laughs> Mario, we've got trouble. That electric goop is back. Where? Everywhere. Oh. So now I have a time limit. Thanks, dude. Clean all this shit. Reverse Splatoon. Mario has had some pretty interesting career changes, but this is... This is the one he'd by far most like to forget. I mean, plumber is all well and good. You know, it's a good paying job. Like, sanitation? But not even sanitation, just glorified janitor? For pe like, incompetent... Incompetent... Like, what, what are these things? Muppets? They're like Muppet fellows. Like, like Muppet plants. Shit. There's the real janitor. And Mario's, like, wondering why that motherfucker is so ineffective against electric goop. And the answer is simple. He's using a goddamn broom. If they gave him a hose, it wouldn't be a problem. They just- the management is so incompetent that they just gave him the wrong tools for this. Yeah, this- this mission, it can be, um, it can be a little annoying because you don't know where you have to clean. You know? But, luckily, like, you might miss a little piece, and you'll be like, fuck, where is it? But there is some breathing room. Like, for example... Little breathing room. Okay, hang on a second. I'd like to modify this Mario age theory for a sec, because... Let me tell you something. If Mario was 24 when Mario 1 came out, Mario is now, like, 30, or he's now... 50, like, 5 or 56. Which makes more sense. So I'm thinking he's aging in real time. That's my theory. I'd like to keep that theory. So anyway, how are you guys doing? <laughs> How's, how's your Saturday evening or night, depending on where you live? Or your Sunday morning? Cool. Okay. Well, I see lots of different answers, as is usual. I mean, it's, it's hard for me to obviously read everyone's answers, but I see a lot of good, I see a lot of bad. So, I mean... I mean, I never would have expected that. <laughs> I never would have expected that the entire spectrum of human emotion is somehow currently present in my chat room right now. Um, but I will say that I am glad that you're joining me tonight during my Mario Sunshine stream. This is one of my favorite um, streams I've done in quite a while. I like Sunshine a lot. And we got it running pretty nicely. We've had a few crashes, a few problems, some do, But generally, this has been running surprisingly well. 
in an almost steady 60 frames a second. Nice resolution. And the game itself is just amazing. This one is totally unnecessary. I'm just doing this for fun. I want to ride the roller coaster again. See, this is like DLC before you actually had to buy it. This is a totally unnecessary mission that will actually just crash your game. So I, I recommend you stay away from it. Wow, even the game was like, no, don't do this mission, it sucks. So we're going to do that again, except uh, I'm, I'm just not going to do that mission. The game doesn't want me to do the mission, I will oblige. I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to force it to do a mission it doesn't want to do. If Mario doesn't want to go there, you know, I'm only 24 years old. I'm in the prime of my life. My name is Super Mario Brothers. I have a perfect body, perfect mustache for the, the mustache ride. You know, if he doesn't want to... <laughs> If he doesn't want to do it, I'm not going to force him. So the new South Park season's been doing pretty good, huh? Stop toad abuse. Don't you, don't you tell me how to run my life. This is, you know... I'll, I'll smack my toad up if I want to. Do you know that guy? He's been waiting up here for you for a while. <laughs> it's fucking Piantissimo again. Goddamn pi fucking Piantissimo. I swear to God, this dude... It's just his costume. <laughs> I don't like his costume. Again, if you look, I mean, you can't really see it, but if you take off the mask, Piantissimo's just the male guy from Zelda. I might finish this game tonight, guys. I don't want to. I don't think I want this game to be over. 100% it. I don't think I have the patience to 100% it. Maybe I'll do all the eights. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Now, 100% completion would be... It would be probably a little too much. Because, I mean... I get bored. But I can do a pretty far completion. How about 100 shines? That's that's not a bad idea. Maybe I can go for a, a goal of 100, and that way it's even, looks good. Three digits, and then I stop, and then I beat the game. That could be, that could be cool. Just because I'm enjoying this game so fucking much, I don't want it to end. God damn it. It's like, why, why am I almost done with this game, but Crisis Core took fucking, like, nine streams? Hey, Zach, it's me, Genesis. Let me recite some poetry to you. Hey, Zach, it's me, Sephiroth. Do you want to watch me edge out? Ugh. Ugh, Genova. Do the red coin missions in the secret areas? Well, maybe I could do that. I gotta find them. Do. The fuck. I'm assuming 
There's gonna be a one one up somewhere if I just pound. You know what I mean? If I, if I just pound. But the problem with pounding is that it takes a while and I'm lazy, so let's just keep going. Stop! Okay, I'm gonna start pounding now. Oh! Whoa! Mario! <sighs> that seems like a better option. Okay. <laughs> this should not be this difficult. This is a simple task. I just need to get up the block. Thank you. His name is Super Mario Brothers. That that is his his full name. That's his first. His first name is Super. His last name is Brothers. And Mario's just his middle name. Yes! Holy shit. I do like these levels quite a bit though, I have to say. I like the, uh, the no... The, at first I was, like, dreading them, but then I kind of realized, once you really get into the gameplay, that they are the true test. And they're a lot of fun. So what happens is Renly Baratheon decided to um, try to become king, and his brother Stannis wasn't happy. So, you know, there was a vagina creature. So what happened is Bowser had sex with Melisandre, and then Melisandre gave birth to a shadow demon, um, aka Stannis Baratheon's shade, and then it, and then it went to go try to kill Mario. So that's what happened. Again. Again. Just stay in there. Go in there. I don't even care. Oh, we're flooded. Okay. So wait a minute, do I have a choice to, like, not have this flooded, or is it now just too late? Like, can I do this level and then actually do some of the optional stuff, or no? Oh, that dude on the island is now fucked, by the way. Do you have a choice? Enter, then leave. Okay. I can go in the level, then re it will- okay, okay. This is Corona Mountain, right? Yeah. Yeah, this was fun to watch during the speed run. This level fucking sucks. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Look, everything's good. Everyone's good again. Everyone's happy. Toads are drinking pina coladas.
Um. <laughs> nice music. Sewer on the roof is the one you want. Oh. Why the fuck would there be a s- wait a minute, it just did the, the inanity of this sewer did not hit me until just now. There's a sewer on the roof. There's a sewer going through a person's house. That's not cool. We don't need music, it's fine. Oh wow. I guess Dolphin can't handle fucking grass. We're running at an 84% speed- hey, 78% capacity right now. <laughs> quality music, quality sound effects, quality bitrate. Everything here is, is the utmost of quality. Sounds like Mario got hit with an elephant tranquilizer. Where's Raiden when you need him? I know, Raiden would cut this grass down in a second. And then do like an edge pose and then lose another limb. So wait a minute, if I'm out of water, I'm just fucked. That's how New Yorkers say water. Water. There's no way to refill on this level, so I have to be really conservative with my water. Because this thing... It goes quick. Especially with the, um, the rocket nozzle. After the airport, probably gonna wrap this up. I know I started a little... Later than usual. Well, not usual. I'm trying to start earlier lately because of um, Comic Con next week. But yeah, I'll just do the airport and then I'll do one more Mario Sunshine stream where I got a bunch of different. Um, I'll do a bunch of different shines and then I'll finish the game. So yeah, I'm not going to go for the 120. I might not even go for the full 100. I'm just going to do the most. Entertaining stars or shines rather sh shines, god damn it. And the ones that um, would be fun for me to play, fun for you to watch. Yeah, when it comes to completion, you know, when it comes to the completion angle of of, of a stream, I'm not sure how entertaining it is to watch someone complete. Every little thing in a game, like, I, I know, just me, I wouldn't want to watch it. If it's a speedrunner, who knows exactly how to get everything, who knows, like, like all the shortcuts, who can do it really quickly, that is entertaining. That would be cool. However, me, I'm, you see, I'm struggling going to the lighthouse. It would, it would be just too much. Vine sauce, have you ever completed a Mario game? That's a good question. <laughs> I've completed several Mario games. Some many, many, many times. Mario 3 and Mario World come to mind. Mario 1, Mario 2. I've completed Mario Galaxy, Mario Sh Sunshine, Mario 64, Mario Galaxy 2, Mario 3D Land, Mario 3D World. I've completed Mario RPG, Paper Mario, Mario Tennis, Mario Golf, Mario Mario, Mario. Mario, Mario, Mario. I've completed Mario. Mario. I've completed Mario. And I've also completed Mario. So yes, I've completed quite a few Mario games. Go back for the 100 coin shine. I... I could do that. Mario and Knuckles. I've completed Mario and Knuckles. That's correct. I've also <laughs> never completed Mario and Luigi, though. So let me clarify. Let me clarify. I've never played a Mario and Luigi game, but... 
that should make for a fun stream in the future. I don't know why, I guess I just missed that series, you know? I, and I'm a Nintendo fan, as some of you might have an inclination to believe. Ugh, if I haven't made that incredibly apparent. But I've never played Mario & Luigi. I've played mm, some of the Paper Mario games. I've played Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door. I never played Sticker Star. I never played Super Paper Mario, which I've considered streaming. I have it now. It was given to me by a, a, a Vine Sauce viewer. And, um, but yeah, the Mario Luigi games just slipped through my fingers. I just never, never bought one. A lot of Mario sports games I've, I didn't buy either. And, um, I'm sure there's a scattered assortment of other games that Nintendo has released that I've, I've never even bothered with. But it'll make for a fun stream. Like I said, I, I plan on... I love streaming. I plan on streaming for as long as I'm able to. And... <laughs> that said, hopefully there are many years of streaming ahead. So, Super Paper Mario... Mario and Luigi games, almost a definite. It's just a matter of when, and I don't, I don't have any plans for them anytime soon. My most immediate plans for any newcomers are in terms of Nintendo games, Minish Cap, and Super Mario RPG. I've played the Tingle game. I have played the Tingle game, yes, and not the Mario and Luigi games. Don't ask. Hey, I've also heard that the next Tingle game, Tingle's Balloon Trip, was being translated. Or something like that. Was it Tingle's Balloon Trip? There was a- basically there was a sequel- sequel to the Tingle game that never came out in the US, never was localized. That one is being localized by fans. And I would certainly consider streaming that, because that sounds like it would be fucking amazing. Oh yeah, Earthbound. I forgot about Earthbound. Earthbound, I've said it a thousand times. Earthbound will be in December. Definitely. Fire Emblem, I'm good on for now. Just like Monster Hunter, I need a break from that series. Also, me streaming the previous Fire Emblem Awakening was a very, very long process, and I know some people got kind of bored of it towards the end of it. And uh, myself included. So, I mean, maybe, maybe, but it's, it's not something I have any plans to do at the moment. So, welcome back. To Delfino. The summer is over, it's cold. I mean, today was a nice day. But, it's cold. It's cold in New York, it's cold in many places. So here's a little summer, just to keep you warm. Possibly for the last time. Uh, my, my intent was to get 100 shines. I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen. Because there's, there's a lot of shines I have left. And, uh, I'm not even sure where to get the last 30 if I were to do that. I was thinking about doing the, um, you know, level 8 of each. All right, that. Yeah, I won't be doing that. I did do the, the Sandbird. It was, um... As I found out later, it was glitched. Sandbird was glitched. The non-blue coin shines. The red coin secret levels. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying some of those out. Um, I have to figure out how to get to them first, so maybe I'll do these and then I'll ask you guys where to go from, go from there. 240 blue coins equals 24 stars. Well, I think I already did like 30. So I think 100 is asking for a little much, but I'll try to do as much as I can without going crazy about blue coins. 
Yeah, Joel, I have no idea how this this got mediocre reviews when it first came out. This this game has aged so well too. I mean, well, aside from me playing it with enhanced resolution and frame rate and enhanced glitches, <laughs> of course. And just in general, this game has aged really well. And I think it's the best 3D Mario game. That's just my opinion. Or maybe not, you know, I can't even say it's the best 3D Mario game because there's so much good 3D Mario out there. But, I was telling Marissa this the other day. This is now my preference. Now that I played it again, this is my favorite 3D Mario game. No Galaxy Love? Oh, don't get me wrong, I love Galaxy 1 and 2. But, this just narrowly, narrowly edges them out for me. There's a lot of good stuff in this game that Galaxy did better, but I also like the open world nature of this game. I love Flood. I love the theme. I love the the levels. It's just so much goddamn fun. It's like the best of Mario 64 and the best of what was to become Galaxy. All wrapped up in one summary package. What about Mario 64? Well, I mean, Mario 64 is a classic. You know, I grew up playing so much Mario 64. I've 100% of that game so many times when I was a kid. Remember when the N64 only had like three games? When it first came out? And one of them was like Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey? Yeah, that... <laughs> that was the time... That like year before we got a, another legit, like amazing game was when I just beat Mario 64 over and over and over again. And then, I would just keep coming back to it anyway. Because it was so goddamn fun. And because the music was great, and the levels were great. Also, speaking of, I don't know if you guys heard about this, but... There's a new Easter egg discovered in, uh, Wind Waker. Where if you put on the second dungeon boss, the, the plant boss... If you put the forest water on that dude after you boomerang him, he just dies instantly. The chat is- is totally fucking mind blown. Here, here, let me- let me show you. Let me show you, let me show you. This is amazing. This is a, a recent development. Apparently no one had discovered this. I think that people definitely have discovered this at some point, but maybe you didn't you know, they just accidentally found it, didn't talk about it, or it was like one of those things that just remained hidden for a while. Now, I don't remember exactly where you get this water, but apparently it won't help for speedruns because it's too, um, it's actually quicker to just defeat the thing, um, normally, but here you go. I got a little, little thing I want to show you. Um, but yeah, maybe this isn't a brand new one, but still, I thought it was very interesting. Check this out. Pour forest water on first cycle and see what happens. But you mix. So you do a first cycle. All right, you take the thing, and then you just pour for forest water, which only lasts thirty minutes in the HD version, twenty in the original version. Wow! Wow, it killed them. It killed it. <laughs> Holy cow! Video by Fishwaffle64, by the way. And, uh, yeah, it's... He, it's a one-shot. <laughs> so, yeah. Man, I love this level so much. So that's what, like, the fun of the, the 100 coins and the fun of the blue coins is being able to just explore every detail, every little nook, every little cranny of the level, and, and just enjoy it. Because these levels are really, really fun, and I'm just a fan of the beach in general. I don't know if you know, but by, by my obsession with the fucking Beach Boys, and um, I talk about the beach a lot. Like, I'm not really a beach person. Like, I'm, you know, you might get me on a beach for like a half hour to an hour, and that's it. But I do like, like, walking on one. 
guess that's not the same as being a beach person, <laughs> but but they're you know they could be peaceful, they could be chill. I like waves, I like the water. Um, many of my favorite games have a water theme. This Wind Waker, Chrono Cross, come to mind. Um, yeah. I like the myth- someone in chat just said, I like the quote-unquote mythology of the beach. I'd say that's accurate to some degree. Fuck that camera. All right. I like these. I like these these red coin hunts. This is fun. I like being able to come back to these levels with a flood too. Someone in chat just said don't complain about the camera. I'm sorry. I will never complain about the camera again. <clears throat> never. Sorry. I apologize. I remember I didn't have internet for a while. Code word is, I can't see. I gotcha. Alright, fair enough. I'll complain- I'll complain about the angular obstruction. You got it. I can do that. I can do that. Um... Yeah, I didn't have internet for a little while. I remember there was, uh, some kind of internet problem. And I had the game for a little while, and I never played it. So... I was like, well, fuck, what am I gonna do? I can't stream. You know, I can't really do anything. I like the internet. Oh, do you guys like the internet? I, I think it's pretty cool. It took me a few years to figure out if I liked it or not. Uh, I still go back and forth, but generally, it, I think it's alright. You guys like it? It's almost like the internet's optional these days. Or you can go to the park, which is the place where all the lost souls gather. Only cat memes? You only like that? Yeah, this is- Rico Harbor is like probably the most fucked up on Dolphin. You see that? That jitteriness? Luckily that- that has definitely been limiting, or limited to only a few moments, a few areas. Rico being the worst of them. Uh, still sucks, but you know, what could you do? I was looking for that fruit, but, uh, I can't find the fruit. It says I need Yoshi. But... How much Yoshi do I really need? Oh, that's what that was all about. Wrong fruit. Wrong spiny fruit. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> this is my life now. Hold up. Hold up. Pardo. 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 Perder. The, uh, this, this clown stuff has gotten out of hand now. A lot- I said this at the beginning of the stream, but for anyone just joining us, you know, I'm not, in fact, the clown that is terrorizing people. And I- and the clown thing that's happening now is not, in fact, a publicity stunt for Blood Bagel. Okay? You can trust me. Just because there is an increase of Blood Bagel sales by 200% since these clowns got in the news, that does not mean I have anything to do with that, nor have I set up a network of clown prostitute- of clown, um... You know, a network of clowns to go around and- and- and scare or, uh, work. It hasn't happened.
Okay, Yoshi, we, we're here now. We're together. We're, we're together again. I mean, uh, my my own incompetence. I mean, I can't see. That's what I meant. Jesus. All right, now I'm now I'm uh, I'm having some problems here. What, what fruit did this one need? Same one. All right, orange Jesus. Oh, I eat. Uh, yeah. So there's a show I've been watching on Netflix called World War II in Color. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a little bit obsessed with World War II at the moment. And, uh, there is... I just typed World War II in to see what documentaries they had. And they have, um, all this colorized footage of World War II. And they explain, like, the war in, in, in detail. And it's, it's fucking fascinating. The color... Some of the footage is, is was naturally, I think, in color, and then some of it was was colorized. But I mean, fuck! What a massive undertaking that is. I actually get dizzy thinking about how much work it is to colorize that much footage. So, okay, here's a question for anyone who may know this. I just have to adjust the camera before I jump because Yoshi. When you do a spin with Yoshi, it's a fucking spin and a half. You get distance. You you get height. It's uh it's it's a lot. I mean, I'm I would have been fine with the black and white footage. Um but I heard that this one was pretty good according to Netflix. <laughs> Who would have thought they would have promoted their own documentaries? But, um, okay, here's the question for people that know about this stuff. Okay, say there is a giant forest, right? And there's a bunch, like, hundreds of troops, or million troops, walking through this forest. Does- is there someone that goes frame by frame, colorizing every frame? Or is there some kind of algorithm that they can plug it in and it does it for them? with adjustments. Every single frame. A bit of both. There are algorithms now. Now I know there's there's some some algorithms. I know there's there's um like bots that do colorize, but I didn't realize this was like six years ago. So I was assuming it was manual. And there are some frames I'm watching of like like footage of okay that the thing I need. Do you see what happened to the thing I need? The only fruit I need. Did you see? This kills the speed run. Could you imagine if this was a GDQ run? Photoshop can recognize certain layers. Like, some people are saying that there are some simple algorithms that can be used. Like, I would imagine some of the broader imagery can be colorized fairly quickly with, um, like, like forests and stuff. You could just do, like, kind of a, you know, or if it's, like, a big grassy field in a sky. That's not too hard. I'm sure there's some kind of algorithm that can keep track of where the sky is. But then we're talking like millions of troops that are are colorized and it, it is it, it's actually fucking mind-boggling. No, that fruit you couldn't pick up. That's the one fruit you have to kick. Jesus Christ. 
I see why I need Josh now. I understand. Come on, Josh. No! This is the guy who completed the Pachinko level, the Pachinko level in one try, and the lily pad level in two tries, everyone. Yet I can't seem to fucking keep Yoshi from going for a swim. Someone in chat just said, I'm starting to hate you, Vinny. Alright, listen, there's a hotline for this. It's called 555 Change the Stream. You can call that number. And then also change the stream. Eat the fruit at the tree to make the platforms go up instead. What? Eat the fruit at the tree. What does that mean? <laughs> what? Eat the fruits at the tree. Oh. Oh, over here? That sentence, like, didn't make sense to me until I saw the tree. So now... Now my Yoshi will make the, the platforms rise. That is a good- that was actually 100% correct. Well done, chat member. You- you have exceeded expectations. Oh, suck. Suck on this scrotum. Do you know what happened there? I tried to rotate- rotate the camera. I tried to rotate the camera with the, uh, with the other button. I- I- I moved my hand from the analog stick onto the C-stick, so I could see what the fuck I was doing. I'm- I need help. Please. Please, someone. Tonight is a bad night. <laughs> please! Send help. Alright, a small mercy from the game. I got the fruit on the first try. Okay, here- here we go again. This is it. Have faith. Have faith. gonna be real, like, real careful. I'm not gonna try any fanciness. What's my favorite color of Skittles? I don't, um, they're, I don't know, because they all kind of just blend after a while. It's just sugar assault. That's my favorite flavor. Um, however, Starburst, what, the color of the platform I'm on right now, is my favorite color of Starburst. What the fuck is juice? Are you- do you mean, like... Grape drank? Wow, first try. That was good. That was my first try. I didn't fail a bunch before that. Right, Vappy? Note to editor, please cut. Please cut failures. Oh yeah, Sora. That's right, he's in Kingdom Hearts as Sora. Well, I mean, that's kind of cool to be able to transition from 
acting to voice acting. Um, I'm thinking about James Arnold Taylor, who was Titus. Um, I'm also thinking about Freddie Prince Jr., who is Kanan in uh, Star Wars Rebels. And I think he is a great voice actor. He does such a good job as Kanan. Where the fuck is that fruit? I gotta find that goddamn fruit now. Tidus and Johnny Test. And yeah, uh, also he did um, Obi-Wan. Speaking of Star Wars, he did Obi-Wan in the Clone Wars. So, I mean, James Arnold Taylor has is, is definitely gotten some voice roles since. <laughs> I tried to pull a smooth earlier, and that's- that's why I ended up fucking that up. Oh, Skrook! What?! What is this?! Go, Mario, go! 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 Now live! Now you have to live! I can't see! Ah, uh, fucking camera. I mean, I can't see. <sighs> you can't wall jump after you spew the, the spray! You can't spray the wall! You can't do this wall jump after you do the spray! You better live, Mario. You better fucking live, dude. No, you scum. Ah, uh, uh, ah, uh. <laughs> oh, hello, my name is Chris Martin from Coldplay. Was in the melon. It's not in the melon. The fuck. <laughs> Could you imagine if I died there? That would have been cool, right? Palms are sweaty. Palms are real fucking sweaty right now. All right. Oh, come on! Come out! Can't see. I mean, oh, the camera's good, but I can't see. So this, this is bad. What am I, am I even doing this for a reason? Is there a reason for me to do this? I'm just assuming that this is how I'm supposed to get up there. Got it. Oh god, I can't fucking see a thing. <laughs> Everything that could go wrong is going wrong right now. So there's one in the vents, huh?
the that fucker better not be blocking this. Nice. Jesus was with me. I'm sure there's an easier way to do that. Yeah, there's one in the vents. So that one in the vents was optional then, yeah. It turns out there were ten coins. And two of them were totally optional. But if you get the other two, you get the ice key. L is real 2016. And various other... Like the book, you get the book under in the bottle. Holy shit! Holy fuck! Oh, now I have to actually survive this. This shouldn't be too bad, right? Oh my god. Oh, yellow burb. Where, where is the yellow burb on this level? Got it, where the blooper boss is. I pressed the button, but it didn't register, man. At the top, of, I was at top of the shell spires. So like up there-ish? Why do I stop going up? Come on, Mario. Okay, this is the correct way. I don't actually... Do, I don't remember going up this way at any point previously. Oh, there's the yellow burb. I almost feel bad, like, I feel like I'm murdering the bird and turning it into an inanimate object for my... my greedy desires. Like, it was alive, now it's just a... thing. My dog has a cone around his neck, it won't stop whining, what do I do? Insert bacon into cone. But... tape the bacon to the edges of the cone. So that way, it's just out of reach. Your dog will expend all energy and effort trying to get the bacon and stop whining. I didn't say it was... I didn't say it wasn't mean. You know, this is... We're talking drastic measures for drastic puppers. Nor would I recommend such a thing. However, it is a solution. I'm sure there's other more painful solutions for said dog including but not limited to um, possibly filling its mouth with cotton candy I don't know dogs can they eat cotton candy what, what, what the, they can't eat chocolate right it's chocolate There's no regulation saying that dogs can't eat cotton candy. As far as I'm aware of. Off! Off! All off! Sugar is not good for dogs. Okay, so do not feed the dog cotton candy. Um, do not tape the snout shut. Um... Get the dog a friend. Find out what it really wants. Get to the- get to the bottom of the whining. Find out why the dog is upset. If possible, learn how to speak, dog. 
and communicate through telepathy. Make the dog watch the room? No, I don't recommend that. That's a bad idea. Dog cannot eat cement? What the fuck? Why did you even have to say that? Who's recommending that they feed the dog cement? That's bad. Okay. <laughs> I don't recommend anyone eat cement. Yahoo! Also, someone in chat just said, Vinny, you're killing a legendary kernfish. I feel like I, I'm a, like a murderer in this game. Like, I just killed the, the rare and majestic and beautiful yellow burb. And then I murder the coin fish. Like, what is this game trying to do to me? I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Or you could bring your dog aboard my yacht. At no point was Mr. Dink a New Yorker. At no point did Mr. Dink have some form of New York accent in the show or otherwise. However, for, for some for some unknown, godforsaken reason, my Mr. Dink has always been and always will be a New Yorker at heart. You dog. Cool, I'm trying to rotate camera. I can't rotate camera. That's cool. Just stick a fork in me right now, why don't you? What is happening? Someone said if I shoot the sun, I get a, a shine. Is that true? Try shooting the sun. Well, it's being confirmed. Yeah, I'll do that now. You know, the, this, this, <laughs> this is tree physics. This tree physics. <laughs> Guys, I I'm not sure I'm gonna I'm gonna do this mission. I think this this might be left undone. You just have to be really careful because the tree is on such a steep incline that it'll it'll just knock you right the fuck off. Like that right there. And then then you gotta be careful because momentum will keep you off. Oh I see, because it's got a shine on it. It's not much of a hint. I mean you probably wouldn't know that. Unless you looked it up. <laughs> that is cool, though. That is very cool. Also, uh, I think I'm probably gonna try to finish the game now. I, I know it looks a little sloppy, but... It's getting late, guys. I'll tell you what, let me try one more secret level. Peanut Park, you say. Where is it in Peanut Park? Have I played Wario World? Yeah, that's pretty good. You talking about the GameCube one? Or Game Boy? 
If you mean GameCube, yeah, I played that. I didn't finish it. I thought it was pretty good. But uh, I kind of lost interest after a little while there. Cool. All you really have to do is, before jumping, just wait for it to kind of just... Before it's about to disappear, then you jump. So you have more time. But, it's a, it's a mindfuck. <laughs> Jesus. Remember, when I say it's not hard, doesn't mean it's not hard for me. That, that shit was... ...defeating me until I, I realized, like, slow the fuck down, pay attention. Also, that, that red coin... ...was almost the death of me. All I had to do was this. So, Frost says in chat, I'm glad Clutch, because I didn't want any more cringe fest. So, when... <laughs> I just... Serious question, here's the misuse of the word cringe again. So, when did dying in a video game a few times become cringe? Did that happen at some point? Like, because I've been streaming pretty consistently for almost six years now. And a little over six years. I don't know when the transition happened. So, please let me know when the cring... The word, the cring word, became like a replacement for dying in a video game a few times in a completely fair and reasonable way. <laughs> in most cases. Oh, it's, it's just memes, I understood. I'm sorry, I meant to say cring, guys, I apologize. I think it's just secondhand embarrassment from people that maybe uh, have a hard time watching other people stream video games. Oh, that's insta death, huh? Oh, fuck. Look at that cringe. I think, again, the word you're looking for is clench. It memes aside. Alright, anyway, Corona Mountain. This is it. This is the. This is the spot, everyone. So... How long are you, you spikes gonna be up there for? Okay. Alright, this- this is- I remember this one being hard. It's, it's the inside of a volcano. Most, like, Koopa levels are, like, set up like fortresses and stuff. This is just the inside of a volcano. Why is this boat doing its own thing?
like independent of where I'm spraying, the boat's just moving on its own. It's not? You sure it's not? <laughs> sure? Alright, well no no, this is good because now the boat is just opposite. It's fine, I can I can do this. Oh, I kind of hate the way the boat controls. You have to realize the boat spins around the center. It turns differently if you spray from front or back. Okay, that's good info. You actually gain lives if you keep doing this level. Okay, now I have to figure the fucking boat out. fun because each time I die, someone with secondhand embarrassment gets gets his cringe. Okay, now now I see what's going on here. I'm losing patience. Okay, so I'm gonna try this boat section with short spurts rather than long silky gobs. Still just trying to figure out how the fuck this thing is supposed to, like, turn, you know? There's no timer on this, right? Take it slow. And shoot short little bursts from the center. And you can readjust up here. It seems like a pretty... It's not a fast way to do this, but it's safe. Oh, this is gonna be fun for people collecting 100%. One hundred percent speed runs <laughs> have to be just amazing. I don't think I like this part very much. Do 
Is that cheating? Did I just cheat? Cloud, grow bigger! Cloud, grow bigger! Cloud, make a hole in the cloud! <laughs> grow stronger! Best Bowser voice acting. Come on in, Mama Peach. Uh, I think not. Mario! You again? Don't you ever give up? Mario! How dare you disturb my family vacation? <laughs> it's so good! It's so good. I, why don't we get more of this? Why did it, like, start and end here? So I don't know how to do this fight. I really don't. So I'll figure it out. I'm not reading the chat. I'm just going to have fun. I'm just going to try to figure this out. Oh, well, thanks, Flood, for giving it away. Shit. Yes, I forgot I had this. I don't have hover nozzles, so I have to... Oh, that's... that's. I forgot about this fight in time. I've only ever done this fight once. And this is fucking awesome is what this is. It puts a bunch of different skills to test. To the test. Including your platforming skills, which is kind of cool. In its own kind of unique way over here. I like that. Thanks to Flood for backseating the fuck out of this fight. Mamma, 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 mamma mia! Prosciutto pasta! That is a chunky ass that Mario has. Ooh, that's chunky right there. Let me show you chunky right here. Mm hmm Come on! Oh, you scum! I got cocky. I tried to use the thing, and I couldn't do the thing, and I tried to do the thing. Oh, well. That's what happens when you go swimming in Bowser's soup. Technically, this is just turtle soup, isn't it? We did it! Now you're dead, Mario, because you were still on the platform. <laughs> That's it? It was just a one-phase boss?
Corona Mountain was harder than Bowser. Hmm. I guess they, they didn't do that a whole lot. In, uh, in the Galaxy games, there was more phases, right? No flood. We need you for future games. Mario, look. Why am I upset that a piece of gear just died? Oh, because it's the best piece of gear. I loved it. Sure, I've got something difficult to tell you about Princess Peach. I know, <laughs> she's not really my mama. Someday, when I'm bigger... I wanna fight that Mario again. That's my boy. Well, son, <laughs> the royal superlife is as strong as ever. Oh! Now, let's just rest a while. I'm back. I'm acting. I swear. And then there were many Bowser Jr. fights after this game, so he wasn't lying. See, Flood's alive. Salute. Iwata. Satoru Iwata. Flood's okay. He'll be back. You know, you know the um, Indiana Jones warehouse where all the crates are? All like the mysteries, like the Ark and everything's in there? Flood's in one of those. He's in one of those boxes. He'll be back one day. Sunshine 2 would be... Amazing. See, th th it'll be Green Toad. Nintendo loves Toads in their Paper Mario games these days. Even Captain Toad got a game. So it's gonna be Super Mario Sunshine 2, but Mario is missing. And Green Toad has to save him. So Green Toad has Flood. But you don't play as Green Toad. You play as... Red Toad. <laughs> Flood is a grill. Oh, I apologize. Fucking Piantissimo. Not even a real Pianta. See that? It sets up a sequel perfectly. Piantissimo is going to be the true villain of Super Mario Sunshine 2. It's like the inferiority complex for not being accepted as a real Pianta. For A, being a little shorter. And B, not being a real Pianta. And C, his disguise being so terrible that no one accepted him as a Pianta. And Mario beating his ass at every race they attempted. It's a perfect story. It's a perfect setup. Well, there it is. Super Mario Sunshine. I'm going to miss this game. You know, that file is still there. <laughs> if I ever wanted to go, f like, get everything and go, like, do all the stupid stuff that I missed, like all the coin stuff, which I probably won't do, but um, what a great game this was. Originally, I did 100% this game on my old file when I first played it, and I, I enjoyed it. But for a stream, 100%ing is not like my style because, uh, you know, I like a little variety <laughs> and. Collecting Kern and grinding is definitely more an acquired taste for watching purposes. So, of course, I figured today was a good way to break it up a little bit, do a little bit of the cooler secret missions. But, um, as far as I'm concerned, we finished it. And it is a little on the shorter side than I remembered. I could have finished this last stream if I wanted to. And if I was a little quicker, I could have probably 
nailed this game even quicker. Just, um, just to race to the finish. Oh, alright, this guy. The one guy! I forgot about this guy. I spoke to this guy already. God damn it, dude. You also need one of my custom tropical shirts. Oh, look at that. That is pretty good. See, this is why we need Sunshine 2, so I can play the whole game like this from the start. Okay, well... No worries. Uh, anyway, yeah, so there's Sunshine. Um, I think... It was worth the hassle of the 60 frames a second with the enhancements and stuff. We had a few problems, but overall... After the first two streams, it was fairly solid. A few crashes here and there, but um, the game looked beautiful. And it was so, so much fun to look at and so much fun to play. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that it's the way you play it if you decide to play Sunshine, if you never have, or if you want to revisit it. But it's something that it can work. Um, it's just you need like some special stuff for it and you need to do some tweaking and then maybe it'll work with less crashing. So, um, you know, I know some of you guys weren't a fan. You were just like, play the GameCube version. So uh, I think it worked out in the end, but at first it was a hassle. So, yeah, it definitely is up to you whether or not you're willing to risk a crash or a possible <laughs> do. It's going to be hard to replace Sunshine, though, because Sunshine is is incredible, and I'm going to miss it. So thank you guys so much for joining me for Sunshine. I know it was a very, very popular stream for people. People were telling me how much they've been enjoying it, and that has been um, just warming my cockles. I've also enjoyed it as much as you did. <laughs> 